Chapter 1061 The Elder Hall's Attitude Translator Born to be once Li Changfen left, other than the Dragonblood Legion, everyone began to celebrate. No matter how they put it, this was a good start, and they needed to use this time to raise morale. That was especially true of the Divine Beast Mansion's disciples. They were laughing with delight. Han Yunchen and Wei Changhe were even openly expressing their contempt of the Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen smiled and led the Dragonblood Legion back to Crouching Dragon Mountain in front of the jeering from the Divine Beast Mansion, the Hegemon Hall, and the Flame Gate. Fuck, looking at their petty pride infuriates me. What's so great about them? We were just a bit off. In truth, we implicated Boss. If he didn't stay back to look after us, we definitely have gotten into the top three. The Dragon Mark Warriors sighed and cursed at the same time. They hated themselves for being weak and shaming the Dragonblood Legion. But the Dragonblood Warriors were indifferent as if nothing had happened. Come, let's talk. Are you very angry? Asked Long Chen. Boss, it's our bad. We brought you shame. We'll wait. What shame are you talking about? Long Chen interrupted. The ridicule and contempt of those irritating people. That shame. That is shame? Then aren't you a bit too childish? You need more tempering. Said Long Chen. Boss, does this not count as shame? We're alright if they insult us. But they dare to insult you. We feel bad inside, said that dragon mark warrior. Long Chen smiled slightly and patted him on the shoulder. Brother, I can understand your hearts, but if this kind of matter infuriates you, then you truly need more tempering. Having experienced blood and fire, you should know what honor truly is. I know you feel bad when others insult me. You wish that everyone would respect me the way you do, but think, why would they have to respect me? For them to not respect me is normal, let alone me. Not even a god will receive everyone's recognition, or there wouldn't be so many religions, nor would there be so many battles and so much hatred. Don't be so petty, you are different from them. By getting angry, you are punishing yourself for their mistakes. That's very foolish. The consequences of foolishness are very frightening, so learn to be cool-headed. Once you reach that realm of having a tranquil heart, if someone tries to infuriate you again, remember, don't waste your time talking. Just directly take their life. You are a member of the Dragonblood Legion. You have a powerful backer. And you don't need to be afraid of anyone. Many of those people are just trash that don't have any beliefs. And they don't even know why they want to grow strong. Quibbling with them has no meaning. The Dragon Mark Warrior's anger faded. They truly felt themselves to be a bit immature. Their opponents were intentionally infuriating them. And they obediently became infuriated. That was foolish. Come. Just now I used the few 10,000 points we have left to get some good wine and food. Let's properly celebrate. Your display today was very well done. You finally found the calmness and steadiness you need on the battlefield, as well as how to cooperate. Our gains were even greater than the Divine Beast Mansions, so let's properly drink. Long Chen waved his hand, and a mountain of wine jugs appeared before him. Nobody bothered with glasses and just drank directly from the jugs. Long Chen was very happy. The Dragonblood Legion's first battle had gone even better than he had expected. Beginnings were difficult, but once you got a good start, the rest would be easier. This start to the expansion of the Dragonblood Legion was a good sign for the future. He would lead these 13,000 people and turn them into the most terrifying army that would be at the top of the Central Plains. The thing that delighted Long Chen the most was the gift Xin Ayan had sent him. The Dragonblood Legion started a crazy celebration all of them drinking multiple large jugs and then directly falling asleep right there and then. This was set up deliberately by Long Chen. Only once they were drunk to the point of almost melting would they fully relax. An intense battle followed by a complete relaxation was extremely beneficial. Once everyone was sound asleep, Long Chen used his soul energy to expel the alcohol out of his body and chatted with Tang Wan Er. After all, he had said some grave words to her during the day. He had to comfort her a bit. As Men Qi wasn't present, he was worried about her overthinking things. Chatting with Tang Wan'er about some happy times in the eastern wasteland allowed her to fully put down her worries. Only then did Long Chen return to his room and enter the primal chaos space. Within the primal chaos space, Huo Long had already completely suppressed the scarlet blood flame. But to devour such enormous energy would require a certain amount of time. Long Chen didn't dare to let it fall into slumber at this time. He had Huo Long use three split bodies to refine alongside him. With four furnaces working, he focused on refining Heavenly Star Sea Merging Pills. After refining for three days, Huo Long gave Long Chen a pleasant surprise. It had condensed another four split bodies. 
So now it had eight split bodies. With Long Chen's help, it continued refining pills and digesting the Scarlet Blood Flame's energy. The Scarlet Blood Flame was incredibly powerful, and Long Chen felt Huo Long's power rapidly growing day by day. Without hesitation, Long Chen went out to buy another four pill furnaces. With eight furnaces active at the same time, it would truly be mass production. As long as Long Chen's spiritual strength was strong enough, refining a hundred thousand pills in one day would be easy. But as soon as he went out to buy those furnaces, he saw Tang Wanner rushing over. There was an elder by her side. Elder Li, hello. Long Chen was startled. Li Changfeng smiled. It's the day to distribute the monthly rations. I decided to personally send the points to your side. How could such drudge work be left to you? I'm sure you have some other matters. What is it? Long Chen didn't believe that Li Chen Jefeng had run over here just to bring the rations. Then I'll skip to it. I came here to represent the Elder Hall and giving you 2 million points. After all, your defeat during this time is related to the Elder Hall. This is the Elder Hall's compensation to you. Li Changfeng took out a crystal card. In truth, the Elder Hall didn't have so much money. The crystal card's points were the result of all the elders pooling in their resources. He was now one of the Elder Hall's people, and he had lost out because he had gone against the Law Enforcement Hall. It would be wrong of the Elder Hall to not show their sincerity. Long Chen thought about it for a bit and quickly saw through the crux of the problem. He shook his head with a smile. Disciple accepts the Elder Hall's intentions, but I already had dealings with the Law Enforcement Hall before, and our enmity was faded. Even if I have to be used as a chiss piece, I am willing. The Elder Hall owes me nothing. It's the opposite. For the Elder Hall Master to personally interfere for me makes me endlessly grateful. I don't need the Elder Hall's resources. As long as the Elder Hall can stand by my side at crucial times, that's enough. As for points, I can get them myself. How are you going to get them? Don't tell me you're going to rob others. Li Changfeng didn't believe him. Robbing others is so coarse. Lacking any skill. I definitely wouldn't do something like that. I'm just preparing to exchange a few medicinal pills with other disciples for points, said Long Chen. Hmm? Although that doesn't break the rules, if the number is too great and disturbs the regular circulation of medicinal pills, the alchemy pavilion will interfere. Li Changfeng frowned. TCH. They can try. I'm a true alchemist, but they refused to let me join, intentionally humiliating me and keeping me out. I was trying to work for the sect, but for some selfish enmity. They refused a generation's alchemy genius, hindering the development of the sect and rattling the sect's foundation Li Changfeng hastily said, Stop, stop, don't just give them a bad name, do you have any proof? Of course, take a look, Long Chen handed Li Changfeng a photographic jade containing the scene of how Guo Ran had brought his application to the alchemy pavilion, but before he could even send in the application, the alchemy pavilion had locked the door and refused to see him. There was also another scene of how in the 10,000 pill hall, Luo Bo had intentionally raised the price on him, as well as his arrogant, unbridled words. They had all been recorded. Li Changfeng was speechless, feeling like Long Chen had long since begun paving this path for himself. The alchemy pavilion and 10,000 pill hall had both gone too far. You should know that the alchemy pavilion and law enforcement hall have a close relationship. This time, I'm going to play with them. I'll first sell medicinal pills. And when they come to arrest me, the Elder Hall should come out to protect me. Then it would be best if the matter continued to blow up until even the Zuan Master gets disturbed. Then I'll release these photographic jades. And then, he, then it'll be fun. Laughed Long Chen. You really don't know how to be peaceful. Li Changfeng shook his head. No, I want to be peaceful. But they don't want to let me. But if it weren't for that, where would this business opportunity come from? And without this business opportunity... How am I supposed to make money? Without money, how am I supposed to raise my family said Long Chen innocently. This matter is too big. I have to go report it to the hall master. Li Changfeng bitterly smiled as he left. Later that day, he returned and told Long Chen that the hall master had agreed. But the Zhuanchen Dao sect had its rules. And pills sold within the sect had to be refined within the sect. Disciples could not sell pills they obtained from outside. Hearing that, Long Chen couldn't help but laugh. He directly bought four more pill furnaces and began crazily refining pills. Alchemy Pavilion, Luo Bo, get ready. I really have to thank you for giving me this way to get rich. A sinister smile appeared on Long Chen's face. Chapter 1062 Peak Great Heavenly Heart Soul Calming Elixir Translator. 
born to be with eight furnaces crazily refining pills and his spiritual strength helping Huo Long refine the scarlet blood flame's energy. Long Chen was at maximum efficiency. His original refining speed had multiplied by eight. Refining one furnace of pills took just two breaths time. That would definitely frighten other alchemists to death. Because for other alchemists, refining a furnace of pills would at least take an incense stick's worth of time. Two breaths? Let alone refining a pill. That wasn't even enough time to refine nine mud balls. In the central plains, quite a few people possessed earth flames. But there was no one who possessed an earth flame like Long Chen. Other people's earth flames either had their spirits erased and were refined into core flames, or they were like Xenions, enslaved. Either way, it was impossible for there to be absolute trust between the masters and the earth flames. And this exact bond had resulted in a refining speed that even shocked Long Chen. He swore to properly raise Huo Long and Lai Long, as they would be his greatest helpers in the future. At the same time, he rejoiced that he had the primal chaos bead. It was a source of riches for him now, as precious medicinal ingredients came out of it endlessly. Otherwise, let alone raising a huge group like the Dragonblood Legion, just raising himself would be difficult. This time, Long Chen spent 10 days to refine 1,500,000 Heavenly Star Sea Merging Pills. He once more distributed them to the Dragonblood Legion's warriors. However, even with Long Chen's vast soul energy, refining at such speed for 10 days made his head feel like it was about to split. This exhaustion was not something a human could bear, but it had been worth it. Blood-colored runes had started to appear amongst Huo Long's flames. Its aura was even stronger, with half the scarlet blood flames energy absorbed. Long Chen was delighted to see Huo Long's power increase with each passing day but he was unable to bear it any longer. After distributing the medicinal pills, he fell fast asleep. When the competition had ended, it revealed which factions were stronger. The inner sect spent quite a few days discussing that matter. The first place Divine Beast Mansion's disciples were high-spirited, swaggering wherever they went and enjoying other people's worshipful and envious expressions. As for the last place Dragonblood Legion, after the competition ended, they all chose to enter high-grade training rooms to cultivate. But after cultivating for only a day, they all had to leave, because they only had enough points to cultivate that long. This was Long Chen's orders. Using the training room right after experiencing a large battle was the best time. With the medicinal pills he gave them and the effect of the high-grade training rooms, their cultivation bases leaped forward before quickly stabilizing. As for the rest of the time, they continued to drill crazily. The Dragon Mark warriors felt themselves to be lacking far too greatly when compared to the Dragonblood warriors. Even though they were all rank 3 celestials, if the Dragonblood warriors wanted to kill them, they wouldn't even need a second attack. During the battle, the Dragonblood warriors had been the cornerstones of their strength, making them all envious. So after stabilizing their cultivation bases, the Dragon Mark warriors all went to beg the Dragonblood warriors to turn them into true experts. The other disciples all sneered at the Dragonblood Legion for being fools. Having spent all their points on the first day, what about the future? Whenever the Dragonblood Legion's people went out, they would be mocked. But after Long Chen's teachings, the Dragon Mark warriors were no longer as quick to anger. They were indifferent to their provocations. Long Chen's sleep lasted for three whole days. When he awoke, he felt completely refreshed, as if his body was brimming with energy. Once he was awake, he learned that the Dragonblood Legion's warriors were all in seclusion, consuming heavenly star sea merging pills. He returned to the primal chaos space and saw that Huo Long was in the midst of refining pills on its own. There was a pile of heavenly star sea merging pills beside him. There seemed to be a hundred thousand of them. Hey, there's no need to work all the time like this, laughed Long Chen. Huo Long gave Long Chen a very clear message. It said that through refining pills, it could focus better on digesting the scarlet blood flame in its body. Long Chen was dumbfounded and then involuntarily laughed, because he had been constantly helping Huo Long digest the earth flame's essence while refining pills. Huo Long had now formed a dependence on it. It wasn't used to just focusing on absorbing the energy without refining pills. This is a good habit. Keep it up. Long Chen laughed wickedly as he encouraged Huo Long. He began to stroll through the medicinal fields in the primal chaos space. It was time to make some money. But which pill would have the greatest effect and make the most money the fastest? Checking over all the medicinal ingredients he had, he felt a bit conflicted. He couldn't sell the heavenly star sea merging pills, because he didn't even have enough for himself. Furthermore, since the heavenly star sea merging pill was one of the fundamental pills of the sea expansion realm, 
the Zhuangshan Dao sect heavily suppressed its price, afraid of raising the price so high that it affected the disciples' cultivation. That was why the price was only one point. That was basically the price of manufacturing it without the alchemist taking any fee. Even if his heavenly star C merging pills were seven times more effective, there was no way he could sell it for seven points. No one would believe it was that effective. This first business was extremely important. He wanted to get as many customers as possible. He wanted it so there was so much demand for his medicine that the supply couldn't even keep up with it. He also wanted to set it at a lower price than the Zhuangshan Dao sect while offering higher quality. Only then would his business proliferate as fast as possible. Just what should I refine? Long Chen pondered this question for half a day. He carefully went through all the medicinal pills sold by the 10,000 pill hall. And in the end, he decided on a kind of medicinal elixir. The name of it was the Heavenly Heart Soul Calming Elixir. It allowed a person to quickly enter a meditative state and expel any random thoughts. It was something everyone needed. Due to its vast applications, people from the Foundation Forging Realm, Sea Expansion Realm, or Xi'anshan Realm could all use it. Most people would have some in their spatial rings, and they would use a huge amount of it. However, this kind of medicinal elixir was not very precious. A whole bottle could be bought for 10 points. This bottle contained 800 drops of it, and using it at a normal rate, this bottle would be enough for over a year. I have the heavenly heart soul calming fruit, and I have the supplementary ingredients. Yes, and by adding the explosive dragon grasses root, I can strengthen the medicinal effect. It'll be at least twice as effective as the heavenly heart soul calming elixir sold by the 10,000 pill hall. Long Chen laughed sinisterly and sectioned off a large space just for the elixir's ingredients, growing them in proportion to how much he needed. He set up 10 medicinal fields. By pouring spiritual energy into the primal chaos bead, just a few breaths after he finished planting them, they grew to the necessary maturity to refine them. With a wave of his hand, Long Chen pulled out a medicinal field's medicinal ingredients and tossed them to Huo Long, who devoured them all. He gave Huo Long directions on how to refine them. Refining a medicinal elixir was easier than refining a pill. With just a few instructions, Huo Long could refine it without any trouble. In just several breaths time, he had a barrel of medicinal elixir. It practically couldn't be any simpler. After refining one barrel, Long Chen called over Kian Duoduo, Wang Mang, and the others. This is peak grade heavenly heart soul calming elixir. Distribute it to the outer sect disciples. Boss, what are you talking about? Couldn't this much heavenly heart soul calming elixir be sold for a huge sum? Asked Kian Duoduo. At the very least, this barrel was worth several hundred thousand points. Before selling things, the first step is to set up the marketplace. We have to let people know where the things came from and how good they are. Treat it as propaganda. But just like before, each person can only get 10 drops to try it. We'll only sell it 3 days from now, and the price will be half that of the 10,000 pill hall, said Long Chen. Kian Duoduo immediately understood now. It seemed the points that Long Chen had sold previously were all foundational work for the heavenly heart soul calming elixir he was about to sell. Kian Duoduo, Wang Mang, and the others all left. Long Chen returned to the primal chaos space and got to truly refining the heavenly heart soul calming elixir. He alternated through the 10 medicinal fields. By the time he finished the 10th one, the first one's medicinal ingredients would be mature again. It was a perfect cycle. Within the primal chaos space, seven flame dragons were refining pills, while one was refining medicinal elixir. As for Long Chen, he was being a farmer, constantly harvesting his field. While Long Chen was busy with work, Kian Duoduo and Mang Wang were also busy as they spread the news of the free peak great heavenly heart soul calming elixir. Kian Duoduo, Wang Mang, and the other outer sect disciples in their group now had a certain amount of influence in the outer sect their announcement drew over countless disciples. Hundreds of thousands of drops were gone in just three incense sticks worth of time. As a result, on the second day, countless disciples came over begging for more. This peak great heavenly heart soul calming elixir was incredible. The elixir they normally used took half an incense stick's worth of time to bring them into their meditative state. Furthermore, if their hearts were burdened with heavy stress or other emotions, it would take even longer. But this peak grade elixir brought them firmly into their meditative states in just a few breaths. It was practically miraculous, and the announcement said that the price was half that of the 10,000 pill halls. The announcer said that they would only start selling three days later, but on the second day, people had already formed a huge line with some prepared to buy it in huge quantities. 
Kian Duoduo used the tricks he had learned from Long Chen and told everyone that in order to make sure that everyone could enjoy the effect of the Peak Great Heavenly Heart Soul Calming Elixir, each person was limited to two bottles. If they wanted to buy it again, they could, but they had to line back up. As a result, the line extended for several hundred miles. Three days later, Long Chen finally came out. When the line outside saw Long Chen, they were so excited that the cheering was like an explosion. Chapter 1063 Violently Beating an Elder Translator Born to be everyone, there's no need to be so panicked. I guarantee each person will get a portion. To make it easy, prepare how much you're paying ahead of time. Called out Kian Duoduo. Wang Mang and the other outer sect disciples began to distribute the bottles filled with peak great heavenly heart soul calming elixir. Quan Duoduo and two other disciples were in charge of the card transactions. As a result, the dozen of them weren't enough and Wang Mang had to summon dozens of others, setting up six distribution point. Two bottles of Heavenly Heart Soul Calming Elixir were sold for ten points. Any disciples who managed to buy it were incredibly excited. Its medicinal effect was much greater, but its price was halved. Such a good thing had never occurred before, as the 10,000 pill hall never had a sale on their medicines. As for the other disciples who offered to sell a few of their own personally refined pills, there was no way to guarantee the medicinal effect and others were worried about getting ripped off. If it weren't for how Long Chen had repeatedly sold points as a foundation for these customers' trust, there wouldn't have been so many people who dared to buy his medicine now noveloon.com but now it was different. The line for buying his merchandise was now hundreds of miles long. In the end, after buying it, people lined up to buy more. Due to Long Chen laying down a solid foundation of trust, there was a huge uproar. Many people ran over with half-believing attitudes. They bought a drop from others to test its effect, and as a result, they were completely shocked and hastily lined up with the others. More and more people were drawn over, and the line also grew longer. Even Long Chen was surprised. He had misjudged one thing. He had thought his main customers would be outer sect disciples, but he had forgotten. Other than the over 8 million outer sect disciples in the sect, there were even more workers, and even the commoners bought a few. After all, Peak Great Heavenly Heart Soul Calming Elixir was useful for many things. No one would mind buying a bit, as after all, this opportunity was too rare. They were afraid of never getting such an opportunity again. Most importantly, people were lining up again as soon as they bought some. That made some hesitating people also join the line. Damn, what a spectacle. When Guo Ran and the others came over, they were stunned by what they saw. Stop wasting time and help. Set up 10 more distribution spots. I'm going to get more medicine. Long Chen quickly arranged for Guo Ran and a few Dragon Blood Legions warriors to help. The speed at which the elixir was selling was too fast. Looking at the huge crowd, the amount he had refined would probably not be enough. Boss, in just two hours, we sold 200,000 bottles. That's 1 million points. Kian Duoduo's voice quivered with excitement. In just two hours, this 1 million points was close to the sum of what the entire Dragon Blood Legion got in a month and looking at the trend, they would be selling even more. Yup, just keep going. This is just the start. Keep going at this speed. Long Chen nodded, having them continue working while he returned to his hotel. With two Dragonblood warriors guarding him, his mind sank into the primal chaos space again, and he continued to refine the elixir. Six hours later, he suddenly sensed something, and his mind exited the primal chaos space. He saw that the two Dragonblood warriors had come in with grave expressions. Boss, bad news. The Alchemy Pavilion's people have come. There's nothing bad about it. It's well within expectations. Let's go. Long Chen went with the two of them back to their distribution point. There were dozens of people standing in front of the distribution points, roaring furiously at Guo Ran and the others who were selling the Peak Great Heavenly Heart Soul Calming Elixir. Who permitted you to sell medicinal elixir here? Shouted a middle-aged man clad in the Alchemy Pavilion's elders' robes. Behind him were dozens of Alchemy Pavilion's disciples. They coldly stared at Guo Ran and the others. Seeing the middle-aged man, Long Chen couldn't help but laugh. They truly had fate. This person was the one who had threatened him and raised the prices on him in the 10,000 pill hall. Luo Bo Long Chen hadn't expected him to be an elder, and he had also never thought that such a person could be a king. Boss had us sell them. If you have any objections, you can go find him. Now get out of the way and stop holding up our business said Guo Ran impatiently. Bastard, who is your boss? Demanded Luo Bo it's me. What is it? Long Chen walked forward, his mind rapidly working. 
Just what was the best way to resolve today's matters? Long Chen? Haha, <laughs> you really are brazen. Seeing that it was Long Chen, Luo Bo's eyes brightened and he smiled. I've been brazen for a long time now. Do you need anything? Asked Long Chen lightly. Do I need anything? Haha, <laughs> now you've done it. Do you have a license from the Alchemy Pavilion to sell this medicine? Do you have any authorization at all? Is there any guarantee of the medicinal effect? No one can save you now, Long Chen. Without the Alchemy Pavilion's approval, selling medicines in large quantities is a grave crime, laughed Luo Bo delightedly. Long Chen's actions in the outer sect had caused all the law enforcement hall's subordinate workers to flee. There was no way for them to enforce the law, and so his profits had drastically shrunk. Although the outer sect was poor, there were many people. In those numbers, there was still plenty of profit to be dredged up. But Long Chen had run off the law enforcer's dogs, and even the true law enforcers were fearful of him. The outer sect was now Long Chen's land. During these days, the law enforcement hall and alchemy pavilion had constantly been thinking of how to handle Long Chen in one move so that he would never be able to extricate himself from his charges. But since he had the elder hall's support, they found it very difficult to frame him for anything. Without assurance, they didn't dare to strike. Now seeing that it was Long Chen selling huge quantities of peak grade heavenly heart soul calming elixir, Luo Bo was ecstatic. Long Chen was doomed now. This was a huge matter that gravely went against the Zhuanchen Dao sect's rules. He would be forced to undergo a trial in the law enforcement hall. And once Long Chen arrived in the law enforcement hall, would there be any hope for him leaving? So Luo Bo was very happy. Flowers almost blooming on his face. He could already see the scene of Long Chen screaming miserably as he faced the law enforcement hall's torture. Now I've done it? I disagree. In fact, I feel like you're the one who has done it. Do you think I came here to do business without any approval? You're wrong, and very wrong at that. I never do anything I'm not assured of. So why don't you come and take a look at this? Long Chen extended a hand. Luo Bo was startled. For Long Chen to be so fearless. Did he really have authorization? But that was impossible. Luo Bo had always been in the alchemy pavilion, and he hadn't heard anything like that. Seeing Long Chen extend his hand, Luo Bo lowered his head to look at his palm, but Long Chen's hand was empty. Then it began to rapidly grow larger in his eyes. Pow! A resounding slap struck Luo Bo across the face. Those outer sect disciples selling the elixir were scared witless. That was a king. Long Chen dared to slap him? The matter of Long Chen beating up a teacher had been intentionally suppressed by the alchemy pavilion. The outer sect had received some information about it, but not very many people believed it. After all, the disciples who listened to those classes were all trying to form good relations with the alchemy pavilion. If the alchemy pavilion wanted them to shut up, they would obediently shut up. But now, in front of millions of people, Long Chen clearly demonstrated how to slap a king across the face. Long Chen, roared Luo Bo his reply was a fist to the nose. Luo Bo shot back like a shooting star crashing into a distant wall. Kings were truly kings. When he landed on the same place Long Chen had stuck those loaves of flatbread, he smashed a large hole into it. Don't move. If you dare to, I'll kill you. Those disciples who had come with Luo Bo all became still upon hearing Long Chen's cold shout. The current Long Chen appeared incredibly fierce, like a bloodthirsty magical beast. These alchemists that lived in their ivory tower while refining pills had essentially never gone to a battlefield. They were too intimidated to move. Long Chen shot forward. Just as Luo Bo came out of the crumbled wall, Long Chen gave him a kick to the chest. He vomited blood. He was truly worthy of being an inheritance elder. His battle experience was essentially zero, and he had no ability to dodge nor defend. Long Chen, I'll kill you bang. Luo Bo's roar was cut short as a kick from Long Chen struck his danshan. The pill flame he was about to unleash was interrupted. Long Chen gripped Luo Bo's throat and then using his other hand, he repeatedly slapped him across the face. Did it feel good taking my points? Keep feeling good. Long Chen's slaps didn't stop as he cursed. Long Chen felt his irritation at being cheated fading quite a bit. The disciples watching were all dumbfounded. Just what kind of monster was he to be able to repeatedly slap a king so easily? In truth, they didn't know that not all kings were such marvels. Inheritance elders had terrible combat abilities. They never went to the battlefield and they rarely fought others. Even if they did fight, it definitely wouldn't be a close-range battle of fists. That kind of coarse and low-class fighting style was too crass for them. They would compete in other ways. Bastard. Die. Pill Flame Luo Bo's face had swelled into a pig's head before he roared furiously. 
But just as runes lit up around his body, a flame dragon coiled around him. Long Chen had summoned Huo Long. When Huo Long bound Luo Bo, the flames that were just summoned by Luo Bo dimmed and almost instantly disappeared. No, Luo Bo's expression suddenly changed. Sorry, those who take my points will have to repay what they took with the interest. Huo Long, devour his earth flame. Chapter 1064 Tower Department Head Translator Born to be Huo Long let out an excited roar. Its body suddenly shrank, becoming only 30 meters long. The compressed Huo Long tightly bound Luo Bo, and its runes suddenly lit up. Luo Bo's expression completely changed. He felt the flame energy in his body surging out. It was gradually being absorbed by Huo Long. He was both startled and infuriated. He was about to launch a counterattack with his pill flame. After all, he was a king, and devouring his pill flame wasn't going to be so easy. You should stay still. Long Chen pointed a finger at his forehead. Spiritual strength condensed in front of his finger, forming a spiritual arrow. If Luo Bo dared to circulate his spiritual strength to activate his pill flame, this spiritual arrow would pierce through his mind sea and instantly exterminate his soul. What appalled Luo Bo was that despite only being at the sea expansion realm, Long Chen's spiritual strength was not any weaker than his. That was shocking, as he was an alchemist, and his strongest aspects were his spiritual strength and pill flame. No one understood how terrifying Long Chen's spiritual arrow was better than him. This spiritual arrow was condensed from all his spiritual strength. If he wanted to resist, it would take his full power. But then he would only be able to watch as Huo Long devoured his pill flame. But if he wanted to control his pill flame to resist, he would have to use his spiritual strength. Long Chen would take advantage of that time to kill him in one blow. Luo Bo began to sweat. I don't believe you dare to kill me, said Luo Bo coldly. Who knows? You can try it. Long Chen smiled indifferently. His words were calm as if he was just joking. But Luo Bo really didn't dare to resist. Long Chen was too wild. Too domineering. He was capable of doing anything. And Luo Bo didn't dare to bet with his life. He felt his pill flame's energy being constantly sucked away. In just a few breaths time, 20% of his core flame had been extracted. Long Chen, don't go too far. You're leaving yourself with no way out either. Roared Luo Bo that was his most precious core flame. He had been nurturing it for countless years, and it was comprised of the purest flame energy. He was unwilling to let it be sucked away just like this. Too far? It seems it really is a bit too far. But have you forgotten what you did to me? I'm a sea expansion disciple, but you're an elder. Your conscience allowed you to con me out of hundreds of thousands of points. For you, a grand king, to now say that this is too far. Do you not feel embarrassed at all? No wonder after slapping you for so long, I wasn't able to slap off your face. If your skin was peeled off, without adding anything to it, it would be able to block the attack of a king item, sneered Long Chen. He wanted to shout that this was too far now? Why hadn't he shouted that when he had been conning him out of his points? Long Chen, Luo Bo clenched his teeth, and flames suddenly erupted off his body. But as soon as he did, that terrifying spiritual arrow pierced into his mind sea. That spiritual strength ran amok, making him feel like his soul would be torn apart. Luo Bo was horrified. He had hoped to force Long Chen off with his pill flame, because if this continued, his pill flame would be sucked dry. But just as he tried to force him off, Long Chen mercilessly attacked. Now he was sure that Long Chen wasn't trying to frighten him. He really did dare to kill him. Long Chen hadn't been merciful with this attack. Luo Bo couldn't bother controlling his pill flame any longer and he hastily circulated his spiritual strength to resist. But Long Chen's spiritual strength had taken the initiative. Although both their spiritual strengths were around the same level, Long Chen had the advantage. Furthermore, as soon as he started attacking, he had no intention of stopping. That fierce spiritual strength was truly trying to kill Luo Bo you've gone crazy. If you kill me, you'll also die. Roared Luo Bo blood poured from his seven orifices. He appeared incredibly miserable. Terror in his eyes. The disciples watching trembled in fear. Long Chen was too domineering. Was he really planning on killing a king? In their hearts, kings were supreme existences that were undefeatable. But in front of Long Chen, he didn't have the slightest ability to resist. I'm just a sea expansion rookie. To bring down a grand alchemist king for my life, I'm definitely profiting. What's there to be afraid of? Said Long Chen indifferently. Although his words were indifferent, his spiritual strength didn't stop. It surged like an angry sea without the slightest mercy, seeming like it wouldn't stop until Luo Bo was dead. Luo Bo bitterly endured. 
His face twisted in terror. He was afraid. He was regretful. He regretted that he ever provoked this madman. Now, he could only resist as best as he could. If he relaxed even slightly, Long Chen's spiritual strength would take his life. Just at this moment, Luo Bo felt a wave of weakness wash over him. His core flame was half gone. An alchemist's pill flame was their core flame, an energy linked to their spiritual yuan. Extracting his pill flame was extracting his essence. 50%, 40%, 30%. Luo Bo grew weaker and weaker, causing his pill flame to be absorbed even faster. In just a dozen breaths, he only had 10% of his pill flame. Luo Bo was powerless to resist. All his spiritual strength was spent on blocking Long Chen's spiritual attack. Long Chen suddenly smiled. Do you know that you are an idiot? You're an abandoned chiss piece. Your people are waiting for me to kill you so they can use your death to make sure I'm doomed. He, your life really isn't worth much. Die. Suddenly, a cold shout rang out, and a chain shot toward Long Chen from a crafty angle. It was merciless, containing immense power that was clearly more than enough to kill him. Long Chen snorted coldly. He put away Huo Long and was just about to use Luo Bo as a shield when a sharp ray of sword key severed the chain. Space twisted and dozens of figures appeared in the air. They were all kings, and they were split into two camps. One was the Elder Hall, and the other was the Law Enforcement Hall. Dozens of kings stood in the air, weapons raised in hostility. The atmosphere instantly grew incomparably tense. Li Changfeng sheathed his sword. That attack had come from him, he said. Long Chen, don't be rude. Quickly release Elder Luo Luoo. Long Chen tossed Luo Bo to the Law Enforcement Hall's elders. If you wanted him. You should have just asked. Why bother doing something as shameful as attacking a junior generation disciple? No wonder you don't use shields. Your skin is impervious to blade or spear. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. The law enforcement hall's elders were infuriated. Having an urge to kill Long Chen right now. They were elders. And the law enforcement hall's elders at that. They represented the Zhuanshan Dao sect's top authority. But were criticized by a mere disciple. At this time. Another group of people appeared in the air. These people were also wearing elder robes, but they were the robes of the alchemy pavilion. The person at the front of them had high cheekbones and his face was lean. He was the alchemy pavilion master. Liu Kang, you should come out as well. I think you need to give me a perfect explanation, said the alchemy pavilion master. His voice was full of anger. Space twisted slightly, and the elder hall master appeared as well. He said, if you want a perfect explanation, I have it but we're still missing one person. Luo Fan, come out. We can all ask our questions openly so we can perfectly resolve things. As expected, the law enforcement hall master, Luo Fan, appeared as well. For three people on the level of hall masters to appear in the outer sect at the same time made all the disciples' eyes almost pop out. In the outer sect, many people might never set foot into the inner sect in their lifetimes. Some had never even seen a king. But now, Three hall master level experts had appeared. Good, good. Keep going. It would be best if even the Zuan master would come out as well. Seeing three huge figures had descended. Long Chen was about to dance with joy. Excellent. I also want to hear your perfect explanation. Liu Kang, said Luo Fan. Liu Kang smiled slightly. I've long since reported everything that happened to the Zuanshan Tower Supervising Department. Conveniently. I also sent some evidence of how the Alchemy Pavilion intentionally refused to allow Long Chen to join, instead mocking and insulting him. As for this elder Luo Bo, he intentionally abused his power to extort a disciple. As a result, the supervising department has been watching this as well, and they've managed to investigate quite a few behind-the-scene details. I'm sure that they will be able to give you a perfect explanation. Hearing that the Zhuanshan Tower supervising department was involved, the expressions of the law enforcement hall master and the alchemy pavilion master completely changed. Just at this moment, a strict voice rang out from the air. The supervising department has already investigated this matter to its roots. The alchemy pavilion refused to let a genius join due to selfish reasons, causing Long Chen's alchemy skills to have nowhere to be practiced. Therefore, it is the fault of the alchemy pavilion that Long Chen had to refine pills on his own without being supported by the sect and his selling of them is also due to the fault of the alchemy pavilion. Luo Bo was greedy and used his position to take advantage of the outer sect's disciples, preying on the people. His reprehensible crimes cannot be forgiven. Within three days, his cultivation base is to be crippled, and he is to be expelled from the Dao sect. No, Luo Bo's expression completely changed. 
That was no different than killing him. Without a cultivation base, he wouldn't be able to get far before being eaten by wild beasts. The alchemy pavilion master's expression also changed, and he immediately knocked Luo Bo unconscious, bowing to the air. We will follow tower department head's orders. That tower department head's voice continued. The law enforcement hall caused the outer sect to be in turmoil and depressed. It requires serious reorganization to fix, and so the law enforcer's posts in the outer sect are cancelled. The outer sect will now be overseen by the elder hall. Yes, Liu Kang and Luo Fan both voiced their acceptance, but the latter's voice was clearly a bit uncomfortable. It was just that he didn't dare to voice his dissent. Long Chen. Just as Long Chen thought things were over and he was about to continue making money, the tower department head's voice once more rang out, as icy as ever. Chapter 1065 I'm Rich Translator, born to be a disciple is present. Long Chen immediately had a bad feeling. It seemed the tower department head's voice wasn't very happy. You've broken the sect's rules multiple times, disturbed a class, and beaten up a teacher. Do you even place the Zhuanshan Dao sect in your eyes? The tower department head's voice was incredibly intimidating. The elder hall's people's expressions became odd. For even the always emotionless tower department had to now sound angry. Long Chen's ability to cause anger was truly amazing. Tower department head, if you put it like this, I'll have to disagree, said Long Chen. All the elders present sucked in a cold gasp of air. That was the tower department head, the figure who overlooked the entire Zhuanshan Dao sect. He was a supreme existence, and his decisions could not be changed even by the sect leader, the Zuan Master. Others might not be afraid of the Zuan Master but they would definitely be afraid of the tower department head. After seeing that Long Chen wanted to argue against him, everyone's jaw dropped so low that you could stick an egg inside. You, you want to argue. The tower department head's voice clearly contained some shock. In all his years as the tower department head, no one had dared to speak to him like that, so he wasn't used to it. You said that I didn't place the Zhuanshan Dao sect in my eyes. I disagree. If I didn't place it in my eyes, I wouldn't have worked so hard to become a core disciple. You said that I broke the rules multiple times. I disagree with this as well. Each time I broke the rules, it was because someone else broke the rules first and I had to fight back. Am I supposed to just accept being beaten while others break the rules? I'm also a victim, because if it weren't for others breaking the rules and provoking me first, there would be no reason for me to break the rules. If you want to punish someone, you should first punish them. If you punish them first, then I will accept any punishment. But if you only punish me while letting them get away with their crimes, disciple will not feel comfortable in his heart, said Long Chen. Are you saying you feel wronged? Demanded the tower department head coldly. I wouldn't say that. I just hope that you can treat me fairly and not wrong an obedient disciple. Long Chen shrugged. You are an obedient disciple. The tower department head's tone seemed to have changed slightly. It was like he was so infuriated that he wanted to laugh. But his voice quickly became cold once more. Stop spouting nonsense. Although you might have been the one wronged at the beginning, the way you handled it was completely overboard. As the Deo sect's disciple, your conduct caused grave damage to the dignity of the sect even if you were right before. You're wrong now. When you handle things in the future, you have to first consider the Zhuanshan Deo sect's dignity first. Understood. Disciple understands, said Long Chen. Of course he didn't dare to not understand. So, since you were wronged by others, and since it was just your way of handling things that was incorrect, and due to your attitude of admitting your errors, I can reduce your punishment. Starting today, you are demoted. Demoted too. Well, you can just continue being a worker. This matter ends here. If anyone has any complaints, you can report them within the next three days. The tower department head had originally been thinking of giving Long Chen a small slap on the wrist. But Long Chen was already a worker. He had been demoted to the bottom and couldn't be demoted again. If he was demoted again, the only rank left was commoner. But a commoner was not a disciple of the Zhuanshan Dao sect that would be equivalent to expelling him from the sect. And that wouldn't be a slap on the wrist. After this result was announced, the law enforcement hall master and the alchemy pavilion master both coldly left. This time, they had completely lost. The Elder Hall Master had beautifully made a fool out of them without giving them any power to resist. Once they left, the Elder Hall Master smiled at Long Chen and also vanished. Li Changfen patted Long Chen on the shoulder before leaving. Child, even if you feel bored, you should take it easy. In just a short moment, all the experts left and Luo Bo was brought away. 
What awaited him was a miserable fate. All right, brothers, starting today, the outer sect's medicinal pills will be sold here. There's no need for anyone to worry about not getting any. So take your time, laughed Long Chen. Only then did everyone recover from their shock and continue lining up for medicine. The disturbance caused by the alchemy pavilion ended up benefiting Long Chen's business. That was related to his powerful charisma. They felt that such a figure would definitely only sell peak grade items and was worthy of trusting. They sold the elixir for a whole day and night. Meanwhile, Long Chen refined more elixir as the day went on. It was like he was squeezing fruit juice, constantly having Huo Long refine more and more. Boss, we're rich. Within Long Chen's hotel, Kian Duoduo held a dozen crystal cards as well as a list of their sales. He had practically gone crazy with joy. How much did we sell? Asked Long Chen. Guess. Stop talking nonsense and tell me. He. We made 38 million points. Heavens. I can't believe it. 38 million points. Kian Duoduo didn't know what to say. Although Long Chen had been prepared, hearing this number still shocked him. It was no wonder it was said that alchemy was the profession that made the most money in the world. Boss, how much did we get once we deduct the manufacturing costs? Asked Kian Duoduo suddenly. Once the manufacturing costs were out, just how much profit did they truly make? Manufacturing costs? Those could be neglected. So the number of points they had gained was 38 million. 520,000. Long Chen directly gave 20,000 points to Kai and Duoduo to give to Wang Mang and the others. One reason was for their work, and the other was for their starting bonus. They had put in quite a bit of work for this business. Boss, this is way too much. 20,000 points for a dozen people? Each person would get almost 2,000. It had to be known that outer sect disciples would only get points if they worked all out for a month. 2,000 points were 20 years worth of income. We don't want untrustworthy people and we don't question the people we trust. There's no need to worry about making them fat and having them get greedy. I'm good at judging people, so don't worry about it. They're outer sect disciples, so their potential is limited. Now that we're all acquainted, if we can help them, we should do our best. We don't want to have regrets in the future, said Long Chen. I understand, boss. I'll send them right away. Kai and Duoduo couldn't help but feel that this was why all those who followed Long Chen were so unswervingly loyal. This kind of generosity was something he was incapable of. He wasn't willing to give away so many points to outsiders. 38 million points split amongst 13,000 people meant that each person would get less than 3,000 points. As expected, without being the manager of the household, you wouldn't realize just how precious each piece of rice and firewood was. He had thought that this profit would be able to make them fat, but as soon as he calculated it, he realized it wasn't as amazing as he had thought. Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. However, when he thought about it, he felt like he was being too greedy. Hu Gishan's Divine Beast Mansion had only gotten 5 million points for first place. He should know how to be content. Kian Duoduo quickly returned, but Wang Mang and the others followed him, saying that they couldn't accept this many points. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to say anything to them, and he directly tossed them out. Long Chen had Kian Duoduo return to Crouching Dragon Mountain. He was to give each disciple 2,000 points, and they could do whatever they wanted with it. They could learn what techniques they needed. They could buy what weapons they wanted. Even if they wanted to go pick up girls, it was fine. But Long Chen knew that no one in the Dragonblood Legion would do something like that. They were very dependable. The only possible exception was Guo Ran. Once Kai and Duoduo left, Long Chen's mind returned to the primal chaos space. Huo Long's eight split bodies had all turned scarlet like blood. Its powerful fluctuations shocked even Long Chen. Huo Long coiled around Long Chen, sending him a message that it had absorbed 90% of Luo Bo's pill flame, that had been extremely helpful to it, and it had instantly refined the remaining Scarlet Blood Flame's essence. Long Chen thought about it and quickly realized that Luo Bo's pill flame was a merger of spiritual Yuan and an Earth Flame. It was definitely an Earth Flame, but it had no life and its ranking was unknown. However, after being nourished by spiritual Yuan for countless years, it had become a delicacy to Huo Long, and there were no side effects from absorbing it. It could be directly digested. Now Huo Long was so strong that it made even Long Chen afraid. Huo Long's terrifying potential allowed it to grow without limit. Back then, the Eastern Wasteland Bell had looked down on it and had wanted Long Chen to switch to another Earth Flame and feed Huo Long to it. Even the Eastern Wasteland Bell had been wrong. It definitely would have never imagined that Huo Long had this much potential. 
Even Huo Long's spiritual strength had greatly improved. It could communicate with Long Chen without any hindrances. Long Chen told Huo Long to help him refine Heavenly Star Sea merging pills when it had time. He wanted to get everyone to the peak of sea expansion as soon as possible. The next day, Long Chen received some good news. Zhen Wenlong had sent people over, and Long Chen immediately went out to receive them. Zhen Wenlong's people had brought over a hundred kinds of materials to forge king items. They included essence metal, mithril, wind copper, blood tin, etc. When Guo Ran saw those, he almost wept. Although there had been quite a few fragments of king items from when the Eastern Wasteland Bell had attacked, those fragments weren't enough to refine true king items. This material completely resolved his most pressing issue. Before leaving, those people told Long Chen that after a while, more materials would come successively. Guo Ran also vanished like a wisp of smoke with those materials. He wanted to confirm some theories that he had learned. The Dragonblood Legion was now sufficiently rich to go all out cultivating. As for the Alchemy Pavilion and Law Enforcement Hall, in all likelihood, they would be forced to calm down for a while due to their failure this time. Long Chen also gave himself a vacation from refining to raise his own cultivation base. The peak heavenly geniuses like Hu Gishan and Hua Shiyu had already reached the peak of sea expansion, and he couldn't fall behind. I can't stop eating medicine. Long Chen grabbed a handful of heavenly star sea merging pills and stuffed them in his mouth. Chapter 1066 Internal Battle External Battle Translator Born to be Long Chen entered seclusion. Because of his seclusion, the Zhuangshan Dao sect gradually returned to calm. The matter of the medicinal elixir in the outer sect had caused a huge disturbance. This time, there was absolutely no way to keep news of it quiet, because far too many people had seen it. It had practically shaken the entire Zhuangshan Dao sect. Everyone came to learn of how domineering Long Chen was. In front of millions of people, he had repeatedly slapped a king across the face. The people who had seen that scene would never be able to forget it. Long Chen's name became even more resounding. At the same time, everyone came to learn of the peak great heavenly heart soul calming elixir. Many outer sect disciples were also moved by it, and they came over to buy it from Kai and Duoduo. This result was within Long Chen's expectations, except, due to Luo Bo, his plans had accelerated even more. Originally, he had thought it would need one to two months for the name of the peak great heavenly heart soul calming elixir to spread to the inner sect he thought it would be a steady increase. So before going into seclusion, he had left behind a huge amount of stock for Kai and Duoduo. Now Kai and Duoduo was constantly busy in the outer sect however, he had also run into a certain situation. That was that the Divine Beast Mansion, Hegemon Hall, and Flame Gate's disciples had all stealthily sent people to buy it. That made Kai and Duoduo very displeased. He still remembered how their people had immediately begun to sneer at them after buying their points. However, Long Chen had told Kai and Duoduo not to mind them. They could buy as much as they want. Businessmen only cared about maximizing profit. They did business with anyone. There was no need to worry about fattening their enemies. Because those people had no qualifications to be enemies with the Dragonblood Legion. Kai and Duoduo sold them the peak great heavenly heart soul calming elixir and a huge amount of points entered his pocket each day. For Long Chen to publicly sell the peak great heavenly heart soul calming elixir in the outer sect was a provocation to the alchemy pavilion. It was especially humiliating because Luo Bo had his cultivation base crippled and was expelled from the Zhuangshan Dao sect but because of various reasons from before, they had fallen into Long Chen's trap. He had a protective talisman now, making them incapable of doing anything. At first, the alchemy pavilion thought that Long Chen would eventually run out of elixir. On his own, there was no way for him to refine so much peak great heavenly heart soul calming elixir. But they quickly realized that he had so much elixir that he was unable to even sell it all. They had immediately raised suspicions that the elixir wasn't refined by himself and was instead bought from outside the sect that was completely against the sect's rules. The elder hall had called Long Chen, and in front of everyone, Long Chen had summoned Huo Long and allowed them to see how it refined the elixir. When the Alchemy Pavilion's people saw Huo Long refine the elixir on its own, their eyes almost jumped out. This kind of alchemy technique dumbfounded them. This speed and efficiency were absolutely ridiculous. Long Chen only gave them a simple demonstration before calling back Huo Long. The Alchemy Pavilion's people could only dejectedly leave. Although their disciples raised suspicions that Long Chen couldn't have that many medicinal ingredients. The Dao sect's rules only explicitly stated that it was not permitted to sell pills bought from outside. 
there was nothing about buying medicinal ingredients. As long as Long Chen refined it personally, he could sell it to others. Technically, he couldn't sell it in huge amounts. But now he had gained that authority because of how the Alchemy Pavilion had rejected his application. Very quickly, the 10,000 Pill Hall sent out word that their Heavenly Heart Soul Calming Elixir's price was going down by 50%. Furthermore, they were holding a buy two get one free sale. But when the disciples calculated it, they still felt that it was better to buy Long Chen's Peak Great Heavenly Heart Soul Calming Elixir. After all, its medicinal effect was amazing. Even though the 10,000 pill hall reduced the price, there was still no one who bought it. As a result, in their fury, they directly cut the price in half again and had a buy one get one free sale. Finally, some disciples were moved and began to buy their elixir. Long Chen sneered inside. They wanted a battle of prices? Selling it like this would cause them to lose money. Long Chen knew the alchemy pavilion was intentionally harming itself just to stop him from getting so much profit. The 10,000 pill hall's large discount was truly vicious. Fewer and fewer people were coming to Long Chen's side, making Kai and Duaduo uneasy. He went to ask Long Chen if they should lower the price as well. Long Chen shook his head. Competing in prices is the display of the incompetent. Playing like this would be embarrassing. In any case, during this time, another 30 million points had entered their pocket. Calculating the total. The peak great heavenly heart soul calming elixir had brought him over 70 million points in profit. Long Chen told Kai and Duaduo to stop selling it and have everyone focus on cultivating in peace. They could just watch how lively the situation was. As a result, it truly became lively. Many people had thought there would be a price war between Long Chen and the 10,000 pill hall. Then the ones to profit would be them. But then, Long Chen ignored the 10,000 pill hall. He refused to play with them and he stopped selling the peak great heavenly heart soul calming elixir. Now all those waiting disciples became dumbfounded, but they quickly reacted and charged toward the 10,000 pill hall, almost causing the entire 10,000 pill hall to explode. They were dumbfounded. They had no idea what to do in front of this crazy demand for the peak great heavenly heart soul calming elixir. Due to the drastically reduced price, they were basically losing three times the manufacturing cost each time they sold a bottle. The disciples buying it had also seen through some clues and were going all out to buy as much as possible. This elixir didn't go bad, so however much they bought was how much they would save. As a result, just half a day after this crazy surge, the 10,000 pill hall announced that they had sold out, drawing the ire of all the disciples. What are you talking about? You're just playing with us. How could you sell out this fast? Exactly. After lining up for half a day, you want to tell us there's nothing. After putting on such a show, how are you going to explain yourselves to the ones who lined up all day, seeing that there were so many disciples who had lined up without being able to buy any? The 10,000 pill hall could only thicken their skin and explain that they truly had no more stock, but more of the elixir would appear later. This explanation was unacceptable to everyone, but there was also nothing they could do. At most, they would shout a few complaints. They didn't have Long Chen's guts to beat people. Long Chen had long since expected all of this. For now, the Alchemy Pavilion would have to pay the bill for their own idiotic promise. They had to continue selling the Heavenly Heart Soul Calming Elixir. Although it would probably in limited quantities, they definitely had to continue selling it. Otherwise, it would be a slap in their own face. As for Long Chen himself, he was busy consuming medicinal pills each day. Occasionally, he would go out for a stroll in the inner and outer sects. Suddenly, there came a day when he was called over by the Elder Hall Master. He arrived in front of a tranquil lake. He saw the leisurely Zuan Master fishing in a relaxed manner. Zuan Master, did you call this disciple? Asked Long Chen carefully. The Elder Hall Master had left after bringing him here. Facing the most powerful expert in the Zuan Chandeo sect. Even he felt a bit nervous. Do you feel like I'm leisurely? The Zuan Master smiled slightly. Well, you seem alright. You don't seem very busy. Long Chen nodded. I feel like you're very busy. Yes, I feel like I'm very busy as well. Why are you so busy? Long Chen was dumbfounded. It seemed this question had some kind of hidden meaning. He thought about it for a moment before saying, I suppose because I was forced to. The Zuan master nodded. If you stood in my position, would you be as leisurely as me? Probably not. If I were you, I'd first ferret out all those idiots in the Deo sect. Give them a fierce beating and kick them out of the sect tidying up the atmosphere of the Deo sect would keep me very busy, said Long Chen. Once the sect was tidied up, what's next? Asked the Zuan master. 
It seemed he didn't feel any anger toward Long Chen's words. Then it'd be peaceful, and everything would go on the right track. Perhaps I'd be able to relax a bit at that time, said Long Chen. I'm afraid that such a thing is unlikely. Battles never end. There are two kinds of battles. Internal battles and external battles. Right now, the Dao sect is filled with unending internal battles. And from your point of view, it feels very chaotic. But this is a very normal state. A person's heart is naturally very competitive. Think about it for a moment. If you didn't have internal battle, then you would have to point your spears outwards and find a new enemy to unite the people. For example, your dragon blood legion doesn't fight amongst themselves. That's because you are surrounded by enemies and have no opportunity for internal battle. But once the enemies around you are gone, you would have to either choose internal battle, or find a new enemy. You rose from the eastern wasteland. I greatly admire your leadership abilities, but you are too domineering, while lacking control and patience. So I want to ask you again. Think about your answer. If you stood in my position, would you be as leisurely as me? The Zuan master looked at Long Chen. Long Chen's heart pounded as he thought of an extremely inconceivable thing. After a long while, he shook his head. I am me. No matter what height I stand at, my thinking will not change. The Zuan master smiled and allowed Long Chen to leave. As soon as he left, an ancient voice rang out. You still haven't given up on this. The Zuan master sighed. I really am unwilling. I can pretty much tell a person's future with a look, but I can't see through Long Chen. He has too many variables to him. I really wonder, if I gave the Zhuanchen Dao sect to him, what would happen? Either it would soar to the peak, or be destroyed. And the chances of the latter are extremely high, said that ancient voice. Master, for so many years, you were peaceful, doing nothing special. Isn't that too boring? Asked the Zuan master. What are you thinking? Don't do anything stupid. We stand guard over our ancestors' foundation. Don't make me have no face to meet the successive patriarchs once I die. Warned that voice. You were too conservative, causing me to also become conservative. The Zhuanshan Dao sect has already lost the attitude of dominating the heavens that the original founder had. Instead, it has taken the attitude of an elder with a foot in the grave. If we continue like this, just how much longer can we last? Asked the Zuan master. The ancient voice was silent for a long time before sighing. Do what you want. The Zhuanshan Dao sect has truly lost its former glory. Since you have ambitions, your master will support you. Thank you, master. Don't worry, disciple will not let you down. The Zuan master smiled. A bright light shone in his eyes. Long Chen's arrival had allowed him to see many things. Perhaps this was a chance for the Zhuanshan Dao sect to rise. Chapter 1067 Infernal Devil Abyss Translator Born to be time truly passed quickly, and two months went by quickly. The day of the competition once more arrived. On this day, all the inner sect disciples who were supposed to participate gathered in the plaza, the Divine Beast Mansion, Hegemon Hall, Heaven Female Alliance, Flame Gate, and 10,000 insect guilds disciples all looked at the Dragonblood Legion's members in shock. The last time they had seen them, the majority of the Dragonblood Legion's people had still been at the Mid-Sea Expansion Realm. But in just two months, they had all advanced to the late stage. 80% of them had reached the 9th heaven stage of sea expansion, and the remaining ones had all reached the 8th heaven stage. It had to be known that one of the key reasons they had been refused by the other five factions was because of their low cultivation basis. However, after joining the Dragonblood Legion, they had gone through a heaven toppling change. Their cultivation bases were not weaker than any of the other factions now. The difference which had been like a heavenly chasm, had been completely made up for in just four months. Standing at the front of the Dragonblood Legion was Long Chen. His aura was vast and powerful, seeming like the peak of sea expansion. For others, it truly would be the peak of sea expansion. He had reached the 10th heaven stage. He had eaten heavenly star sea merging pills like they were candy, practically never stopping his consumption. He had finally managed to raise his cultivation base to the same level as the other commanders but breaking through three times had caused his aura to grow a bit out of his control. That was especially true when he had advanced to the 10th heaven stage, as his aura had instantly risen a great deal. The nine-star hegemon body art was different from ordinary cultivation techniques. He had 13 heaven stages, and once he reached the 10th heaven stage, his power would leap. Each advancement afterward would be incredibly difficult, but the increase in power would be amazing as well. Furthermore, when he had reached the 10th heaven stage, his key seas had instantly exploded in size. It was like a cup that had shattered. 
the limits of his key seas were broken, allowing them to expand to a new level. Furthermore, he sensed the mysterious energy that seemed to have been limiting his key seas had also vanished. His key seas had broken their old limits and were once more expanding. That resulted in him now having twice as much spiritual yuan as before. That wasn't the most amazing thing. Once his key seas began to grow again, the divine runes of the third form of split the heavens being nourished in his acupuncture points were like dried up reverbs that had received rainwater. Just yesterday, they had been fully satisfied and stopped growing any stronger. In other words, he could now use the true power of the third form of split the heavens. Everyone in the Dragon Blood Legion looked like they had transformed. All of them were like completely new people, filling quite a few others with envy. The matter of Long Chen selling medicinal elixir in the outer sect for points was common knowledge to them. But being envious didn't have any use. They had seen the Dragon Blood Legion's warriors use their plentiful points to equip themselves and cultivate in high grade training rooms. They practically spent all day in high grade training rooms. Their newly rich conduct irritated them. But for the Dragon Blood Legion's warriors, it was extremely refreshing. To use some wise words that Guo Ran had once said, I like it the most when looking at me irritates you, but you also can't do anything. During this time, the Dragon Mark warriors had experienced the true meaning of what it meant to advance by leaps and bounds. They were full of gratitude and reverence for Long Chen. In their hearts, Long Chen was a god. In just four months, he had turned them, the trash that no one else had wanted, to the same level as those other geniuses. Their power had not only leaped to an unprecedented level, but they had also used points to get treasures that they had needed. All of them had the best treasure items possible, and some even had leftover points to buy some defensive equipment. That made them all very confident about the competition this time. A pack of country bumpkins, seeing Long Chen's side in high morale. Xinian let out a sneer and spat on the ground. He was full of hatred and envy. Pow! Xinian had only just finished when a thunderous sound rang out. A figure appeared in front of him and slapped him across the face. How many times have I told you not to dirty the plaza? Said Long Chen coldly. Intolerable bullying. Fan Song's expression turned hostile. He was standing not far away, and he charged over, smashing a fist toward Long Chen. Powerful rumbling erupted and caused everyone's expressions to change. Long Chen also sent out a punch, and when they collided, the entire plaza rocked. Everyone was shocked by this power. The most shocking thing was that Long Chen and Fan Song had not released any of their auras. In other words, this was just a simple attack. Long Chen's heart shook. Fan Song was truly powerful. This exchange made his wrist slightly numb. Although he had known that Fan Song was a rarely seen body cultivator, Long Chen hadn't expected to still be slightly weaker in terms of physical bodies after advancing three realms. Long Chen was shocked, but Fan Song was even more shocked. He was a rank 5 celestial, someone with exceptional talent and power. Moreover, he was a one in a thousand year body cultivator genius. In all his years, he had never encountered anyone who could compete with him in power. Whether it was in the same realm or the realm above, in terms of pure power, he had never met his match. Although Long Chen had displayed great power in his battle against Xinian, he still didn't consider Long Chen to be a match for him. But in this exchange, they were equally matched. That shocked and infuriated him. This was his specialty, and he should have destroyed him. For them to be equally matched was a loss for him. Fan Song frowned and was just about to start using his real power when an icy voice rang out. I'm glad you're so energetic. Long Chen and Fan Song hastily fell back. Sumo once more appeared in the air. He was still covered in blood. Moreover, there was a cut to his shoulder that was so deep that they could see bone. There was some kind of energy trying to corrode his flesh, making his healing speed very slow. We are at the front fighting a bloody battle, while you are all happy and bored enough to fight amongst yourselves. Amazing. Truly amazing, sneered Sumo senior apprentice brother Sumo. I shut up. Xinian had been about to complain when Sumo interrupted him. I'm not as bored as you, and I don't care about your trifles. Do you realize that while you idle about with your nonsense, people are constantly falling each day to protect you? I didn't know how I was supposed to tell you this before, but seeing how much energy you have, I won't stand on courtesy. His gaze swept over everyone. He continued, originally. You should have participated in the competition three times to get you used to the fight against the devil beasts. Only then would you be sent to the true battlefield. But you're very unlucky. The past few days, the infernal devil abyss began to grow chaotic, and countless devil beasts have charged through the world barrier to enter the martial heaven continent. 
the defensive line of the Zhuangshan Dao sect is under pressure, so the competition this time is cancelled and will be replaced with a true battle. In other words, you will be stepping onto the battlefield of one of the Zhuangshan Dao sect strongholds. All your factions will cooperate to defend one stronghold. This is a true battle, and it will be bloody and cruel. But the one thing worth rejoicing about is that the devil beasts appearing in the infernal devil abyss are still under control. There won't be any devil beasts you can't defeat. But you have to know, in a true battle, changes can occur in an instant. Anything is possible. I have nothing to teach you here. You'll need to learn everything on the cruel battlefield. Time is pressing. Keep the bracelets on. Because this battle has even greater rewards than last time. Killing 7th rank devil beasts will be worth 1 kill point. 8th rank devil beasts are worth 100 points. And as for 9th rank devil beasts, you shouldn't run into them. You are one team focused on killing your opponents. When the battle is over, you can directly exchange the kill points you have with points in the sect. One kill point is worth one point. One kill point was worth one point. All the disciples were delighted. Each seventh rank devil beast they killed was one point. Remember, this is not the usual competition. This is a true battle. If anyone flees without orders, even if all the people around them were killed, they will be executed by the sect, said Sumo Isili. Everyone's hearts shook. They were no longer disciples in a trial, but soldiers in a battle. Military orders had to be obeyed, with violators being executed. Long Chen didn't feel much surprise. The sect had spent so much on training its troops. Eating and drinking what was the Zhuangshan Dao sects wasn't free. After taking what was theirs, they had to do work for them. You will be transported to your own defensive zones. Remember, if any devil beasts charge past your zone, not only will all your kill points be cleared, but you will also receive a heavy punishment. After that, the bricks beneath their feet lit up, and each faction was enveloped by countless runes. The runes formed a huge sphere in the air, making sure to envelop each one of them. Buzz. They felt the space twist, and then they saw endless darkness. They stayed within this endless darkness for several breaths before the darkness faded, and they appeared on a dusky battlefield. Chapter 1068 The Battlefield in the Abyss Translator Born to be the sky was dull and gloomy, and the sun was nowhere to be found. Blood-colored mist filled the air with a brutal aura. The scent of death was strong. Long Chen and the others appeared in a canyon. The canyon was definitely not natural. It was a pass created by humans. It was a hundred miles wide. This was a specially constructed channel. And when Long Chen spread his divine sense, he sensed another channel a thousand miles away. Between these two channels was a huge and thick wall. The wall was covered in runes and incomparably sturdy. The channel on his right side was guarded by Hua Shiyu's Heaven Female Alliance. On his left side was a precipitous mountain. The huge mountain soared high and spread far into the distance. This mountain was a natural barrier. Behind the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples was a giant stronghold. Long Chen and the others were the final barrier in front of the stronghold. There were six channels here, and when the army of devil beasts arrived, they would spread throughout the six channels that scattered their power, which was beneficial for ambushing and stopping them. If the disciples could see further, they would see that their channels were all connected to another huge channel in front of them. At the end of that huge channel was an even larger channel. Each channel had several branches. It was similar to trying to stop a river. When the people at the front were unable to stop the huge devil army, they would let a few of them go through the branches at the end of their passes, through several layers of checkpoints. If the devil army still couldn't be stopped, then they would be forced to activate the stronghold. This stronghold was the Zhuangshan Dao sect's strongest defensive measure. Once it was activated, it was unknown how many devil beasts it would be able to kill. The sect had spent an exorbitant amount of manpower and wealth to build it. But such a terrifying stronghold would also cost a terrifying amount of resources to activate. Even the Zhuangshan Dao sect wasn't willing to use it unless they were forced to. Just using it once would be a grave blow to their core. The Dragonblood warriors felt like a stone was pressing against their hearts upon entering this battlefield. Seeing these grand fortifications as well as the scent of death that hung in the air, no one could remain indifferent. This was the pressure of the battlefield. The more lives that had died, the greater the pressure would be. This kind of mental pressure was nerve-wracking. Form the whirlwind slaughter formation. Take care of the space and distance between you. Don't accidentally attack your own people, or the jokes that will be made about you will never end. Long Chen clapped his hands, drawing his people's attention. They quickly spread out. The whirlwind slaughter formation involved forming groups of nine. It was a very nimble and adaptable formation. 
they could quickly form up once more, linking up nine groups of nine into a larger formation. It was a simple but very practical formation. For over 13,000 people to guard a space around 100 miles wide was very simple. At the sea expansion realm, a single full-strength attack could instantly cover such a distance. At closer range and by compressing the attack, it would make the attack even stronger. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors quickly took their places. Just by busying themselves with taking their positions, they felt the pressure of the battlefield lesson. Don't be so nervous, because that's a very foolish thing. Now that you're on the battlefield, the only thing that matters is strength. If you're strong enough, then the devil beasts in front of you are just points. If you aren't strong enough, then there's even less reason to be worried. You'll definitely die. So why be nervous? Said Long Chen. The Dragonblood Legion's members involuntarily laughed. Seeing how easygoing Long Chen was as he stood at the front of their formation, unaffected by the battlefield's pressure at all, their tense hearts loosened slightly. Other than that, let me give you some good news. Our neighbors are the Heaven Female Alliance's beautiful army. Long Chen's voice suddenly quietened as he said, Everyone, work hard to show off a man's selling points. Show them how domineering a man should be. If we kill all the devil beasts on our side, we could go to the other side and help them. He, you understand? Not only can you get points, but you can also be the hero saving beauties. Long Chen raised his brows at them with a naughty smile. Tang Wan'er looked at Long Chen and didn't say anything. She knew he was using this wretched method to encourage people and make them forget their nervousness. Sometimes, a man's desire for such a thing could allow them to explode with unprecedented power. She saw people's passions were ignited. HMPH, a nice thought. But my heaven female alliance's warriors don't need any stinky men. Don't even think about coming over here to take advantage. Just as the Dragonblood Legion's men had started smiling, Hua Shiyu's icy voice came from the other side of the wall, along with a few maidens tinkling laughter. Long Chen was struck speechless. Now it was awkward. He had been exposed. The thing that infuriated him the most was that Tang Wan'er also laughed at him. Suddenly, the ground began to rumble, and all the disciples' expressions changed. The Devil Beast army had arrived. Just a few breaths later, a tide of Devil Beasts could be seen charging over at them. It was different from the trial and competition. There were all kinds of Devil Beasts now. Although their bodies weren't huge, their auras were very tyrannical. Furthermore, some of these Devil Beasts were stronger than the others. Black runes covered their bodies, and that powerful pressure was clearly the aura of 8th rank Devil Beasts. The 8th rank for Devil Beasts was equivalent to Human Cultivator's Foundation Forging Realm. They were very powerful. As the endless Devil Beasts rushed over, the ground constantly shook. As they got closer, people saw that some Devil Beasts were like apes that had grown fangs. Some were like crocodiles in human form. And some only had limbs with no head. It was unknown what they were. Even from dozens of miles away, they could smell the scent of decay and death pouring over them. It was no wonder this place was called the Infernal Devil Abyss. It was like they were facing devils from hell. Brothers, get ready to work. Guo Ran, you're in charge of directing people. Call out people to kill the 8th rank devil beasts that slip by. Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingguan. Follow behind me as the first line of defense. Everyone else, the small fish will be left to you. Long Chen waved a hand, and a huge flame dragon flew out. Its flame runes were blood-colored and when it opened its mouth, a flame meteor shot out at the devil beasts. Boom. Flames exploded, devouring any devil beasts struck. Seventh rank devil beasts were instantly turned to dregs, and a dozen eighth rank devil beasts were also struck and let out ear piercing cries. Although they didn't immediately die, they were heavily injured. Huo Long turned, and with a flick of its tail, it blew apart those burning eighth rank devil beasts. It flew to the very front. When the disciples in the other passes saw how powerful it was, they were completely shocked. Only one person had flames about to shoot out of his eyes. That person was Xinian. The strength of Long Chen's flame dragon was entirely because of him. Three of his earth flames had been devoured by it. The other five factions also took action. Hua Shiai was surrounded by flying flower petals, and the devil beasts all exploded upon contact. Even eighth rank devil beasts were unable to resist. What a terrifying woman. Those flower petals definitely contained some kind of secret, or they couldn't possibly be so sharp. Long Chen was shocked by this power. He didn't sense any elemental energy within those petals, but their sharpness surpassed even treasure items. As Hua Shiyu displayed her power, she slaughtered masses of devil beasts at the very front. 
Only a portion of them avoided her blockade and attacked the people behind her. But behind her was Xiao Ziyan, and she directed the female warriors to attack the devil beasts. Everything was under control, and they weren't panicked at all. On the other side of Hua Shiya was Wang Shen's 10,000 insect guild. Wang Shen was also displaying his terrifying power. It was unknown when exactly he had raised this many insects, but he had all his disciples retreat. Using just a huge army of insects, he formed a death trap at the entrance to his channel. All kinds of shelled insects appeared on the ground. Those insects were constantly spitting out poison from their mouths, and any devil beasts touched by it would instantly begin to corrode and let out whales. In the air, there were countless three-meter-long bee-like insects. They shot out long stingers from their tails that pierced through the devil beasts. After the devil beasts were struck by the poison, these stingers instantly caused their bodies to explode like rotten flesh. Once the devil beasts were killed, countless pincer insects would crawl out of the ground and devour their corpses. There weren't just three types of insects. There were all kinds. Some acting as bait. Some acting as shields. Some launching sneak attacks. It was a true endless army of insects. The insect army had essentially blocked the entrance to the pass, and the 10,000 insect guild's disciples basically didn't need to do anything, so they just watched. On the other side, the Divine Beast Mansion, Hegemon Hall, and Flame Gate had also attacked. The thing that startled Long Chen was that Xinian had a new commodity. He had summoned a huge flame ape, and the fluctuations from its flames were very powerful. It was actually not weaker than the Scarlet Blood Flame. In fact, its ranking might even surpass it slightly. Xinian stood at the head of his flame ape as it constantly attacked the devil beasts. But the only thing he was staring at was the distant Long Chen. His eyes were full of rancor. Long Chen coldly looked at him. A faint sneer appeared on his face. Was this idiot about to send him more food? Chapter 1069 Yuan Energy Fluctuations Translator Born to be on Long Chen's side, Huo Long was at the very front, incinerating any devil beasts near it. After devouring three earth flames and Luo Bo's pill flame, it had undergone a complete transformation. The current flame dragon had reached a level of control over its power that even shocked Long Chen. Its control was equal to an alchemist controlling their flame during a pill refinement. Each bit of power was used perfectly without the slightest waste. Is this the result of devouring Luo Bo's pill flame? It also absorbed his flame control experience. Seeing how unstoppable Huo Long was, Long Chen was pleasantly surprised. Huo Long's power surpassed his expectations. Behind Huo Long were Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, and Li Qi. They had formed one long defensive line. Tang Wan'er's wind blades along with Song Mingguan and Li Qi's earth and spears were both large area attacks. The majority of the devil beasts that got past Huo Long were killed by them. As for Gu Yang, he had no large area attacks. He focused on the 8th rank devil beasts that got by, not letting them charge into the formation behind him. Through these layers of obstructions, the number of devil beasts that reached the dragon blood legion was not high. Furthermore, they were all 7th rank. With 9 people in a team, their formations moved out, forming sharp blades that cut through them. From the air, this channel was a land of death for the devil beasts. The formations were like meat grinders. As they moved, the devil beasts were torn apart. Black blood and flesh flew through the air. It was miserable and bloody, but these devil beasts didn't seem to have any fear of death. They continued to crazily charge forward even as they saw their companions being killed. Within the entire Dragon Blood Legion, Long Chen was the most leisurely one. He was squatting on the ground, studying a devil beast's head that had just been cut off. That devil beast's teeth were as sharp as a treasure item. Black lines covered in the teeth that emitted the aura of death. This was a special aura, and once bitten, it would invade your body. Even Heavenly Deo Energy had trouble erasing it, so being injured by a devil beast was a very troublesome matter. Long Chen snapped off one of its half a foot long teeth and carefully examined its aura. For some unknown reason, he felt another very familiar aura within its sinister aura. Suddenly, an eighth rank devil beast broke past Gu Yang's blockade. Guo Ran was just about to shoot it with his golden crossbow when Long Chen flung out the tooth. It pierced straight through the devil beast's head. It only possesses a berserk will and has no spiritual fluctuations. In other words, it has no intelligence. It only has desires but has no fear of death. How curious. As that 8th rank devil beast died, Long Chen locked onto it with his spiritual strength to see what it would feel during death. It was a very strange life form. It had to be known that any creature would feel innate fear toward danger and death. But these devil beasts didn't. They didn't even have spiritual fluctuations. 
If they didn't have bodies of flesh, Long Chen would suspect that they were puppets made to kill people. Puppets. They really are like puppets. Long Chen's eyes brightened. These devil beasts were just like a kind of puppet. Their attacks were practically instinctual. And that was the basic nature of a puppet. This is. Long Chen reached into the devil beast's chest and pulled out a black stone. The stone was the size of a baby's fist. And it was covered in lines that were like wriggling centipedes. It looked very evil. But he also sensed another kind of energy fluctuations within this stone. He suddenly cried out. These are Yuan energy fluctuations. It's practically the same as the fluctuations from Yuan spirit stones. Long Chen couldn't help being dumbfounded. These devil beasts could produce Yuan spirit stones? That had to be nonsense. Yuan spirit stones were mined. How could devil beast cores become Yuan spirit stones? When he carefully sensed it, he found that only a small amount of the devil beast cores energy was Yuan spiritual energy. The energy inside was complicated. The Yuan spiritual energy only made up a tenth of its energy. The remaining 90% was a berserk, dark kind of energy, and that kind of energy was poison to cultivators. There was no way to extract the Yuan spiritual energy like this, so there was no way to use this stone. After studying it a bit longer, Long Chen stopped and began to pay attention to the Dragon Blood Legion's battle. Ha ha ha, I've made 375 points, cried out a Dragon Mark warrior as he excitedly killed the Devil Beasts. It had just been less than two hours since the battle had begun. But an ordinary intersect disciple had made 375 points. That was like striking gold. Working two hours here was worth more than three months of rations. It was no wonder he would be so excited. After all, these were the points he had earned with his own power. What's so amazing about 300 points? I'm already at 500. But did you see me say anything? Shouted one of the Dragonblood warriors. Do you think you're quiet? If you shout a bit louder. I bet people would be able to hear your excitement all the way to the eastern wasteland, roared one of the dragonblood warriors beside him. His ears were ringing from that person's shouting. Head Gu Yang, what are you at? Asked a dragonblood warrior. 27, replied Gu Yang. 27? Impossible. Wait, as in thousands? Ten of thousands. Everyone was startled. Gu Yang, who was just in charge of the eighth rank devil beasts that got past had already reached over 200,000 points. Then wouldn't Tang Wan'er be at over a million? Long Chen looked at his bracelet and saw that he had reached 3,270,000 points. Huo Long was incredibly powerful, unrevealed in alchemy and battle. It was a known what secret technique the Zhuanshan Dao sect was using so that the devil beasts killed by Huo Long were counted by his bracelet. Hey, can you focus? Or are you going to chat until the day ends? Sister Wan'er. These brothers are getting lazy out of boredom. Let a few more points come by cried Guo Ran. Guo Ran saw that these brats were getting too arrogant. Having forgotten their fear, their confidence ended up inflating. It was time to give them some more work so they would get a bit tense. Tang Wan'a reduced her attack range slightly. As a result, a huge swarm of devil beasts charged past. The dragon mark warriors roared and started a slaughter. After discarding their fear, after putting down their nervousness, after being led through multiple battles by the Dragonblood Warriors, the Dragon Mark Warriors had finally found the feeling of a battle. The difference between them and the Dragonblood Warriors was rapidly shrinking. Long Chen's side had it extremely easy, while the other factions were about the same. However, the Divine Beast Mansion and Hegemon Hall had both already expanded their attack range. They were unwilling to just guard their channel. Yan Machen, Han Yanshan and Wei Chang-hei had charged forward a hundred miles and were slaughtering any devil beast in sight. Fuck. How despicable. They're fighting over our points. Rage Guo Ran. The three of them had charged to the front, interfering with Dragonblood Legion's share of devil beasts. As a result, the number of devil beasts reaching their channel had dropped a great deal. Those three were taking this opportunity to snatch their points. However, not every faction had the ability to send people out to the front. Only the Divine Beast Mansion and Hegemon Hall were both able to guard their channel safely after sending them out. In truth, Hua Shiyu's side also had the power to send out Xiao Ziyan, but Hua Shiyu didn't do that. Instead, she continued according to their original rhythm. As for the 10,000 Insect Guild, when Wang Shen saw that Long Chen wasn't doing anything, he seemed to also realize something. If he continued killing all the devil beasts himself, his people wouldn't have anything to do. He opened a path to allow a few devil beasts to get by for his subordinates. Boss, do you want to go out as well? Guo Ran was irritated that those three would snatch their points like this. 
Do you think I'm as stupid as them? If even Sumo was beaten into such a miserable state, do you think this mission would be this easy? Even an idiot would be able to tell this is just time for us to adapt. Soon, more powerful devil beasts will be released to our side. If they want to be stupid, let them. Let's see how long they're capable of being so stupid, said Long Chen. As expected, not long after, people sensed something was wrong. The number of the devil beasts was still the same, but the proportion of 8th rank devil beasts was increasing. In the beginning, only one 8th rank devil beast would appear amongst over 2,000. But now, there was one every thousand devil beasts. Their proportion had doubled. As soon as that happened, the Divine Beast Mansion and Hegemon Hall sides became unsteady. Several 8th rank devil beasts got past Hu Gishin's blockade and reached his faction behind him, causing great chaos. Although those devil beasts were eventually subdued, dozens of disciples had been killed under their attacks. Hu Gishin and Fan Song immediately called the three of them back. In their panic, their formations became unsteady, and over a hundred of their people died, causing their faces to turn green with fury. This was a typical case of trying to steal a chicken only to lose the rice used to lure it. In order to get a few more points, so many of their people had died. It was completely not worth it. On the contrary, the other faction's blockades were still completely steady. Although the number of 8th rank devil beasts was increasing, their formations didn't become chaotic and no casualties appeared. Meanwhile, Hu Gishin and Fan Song felt like they had been slapped in the face. More and more 8th rank devil beasts were appearing. The Dragon Blood Legion's formation switched once more. The Dragon Mark Warriors fell back while the Dragon Blood Warriors advanced. More and more Devil Beasts were getting by, and the Dragon Blood Warriors began to join in on killing the 8th rank Devil Beasts. They also occasionally let an 8th rank Devil Beast get by for the Dragon Mark Warriors to experience their power, but they would always call out a warning before letting one get by so that they would be prepared. Only once the Dragon Mark Warriors got used to it and were no longer afraid of the 8th rank Devil Beasts did they truly allow 8th rank Devil Beasts to get by. Now the Dragon Mark Warriors had also joined in on the fight against the 8th rank Devil Beasts. After another 2 hours, the number of 8th rank Devil Beasts had increased once more. Now one would appear around every 500 Devil Beasts. The other factions all found it taxing now. Casualties were starting to appear, and they no longer had it as easy as before. They finally understood that this was a true battlefield, not a trial. However, Long Chen still didn't do anything. He stood in the air, overlooking the Dragon Blood Legion. To him, the battle had only truly just started. Now was the true time to temper the Dragon Blood Legion. Suddenly, a furious row rang out in the distance, and a terrifying pressure descended, causing everyone's expressions to change. Chapter 1070 Powerful Show of Killing Translator Born to be that was a 30-meter devil beast with an ox head and rodent body. It was covered in fine veined patterns, and there was a long tail growing out of its back. Its roar caused the sky to shake, and a terrifying pressure crashed down upon them, making everyone's hair stand on end. Ninth rank devil beast. It's definitely a ninth rank devil beast. Didn't they say no ninth rank devil beasts would appear? Everyone turned pale with fright. That was an existence on par with a king. As the ninth rank devil beast charged over, it knocked aside any 7th and 8th rank devil beasts in its path. The ground trembled as it moved. Long Chen's expression was serious. He flew to the front of the Dragon Blood Legion. At the same time, Hua Shiyu, Wang Zhen, Hu Gishan, Fan Song, and Xinian also appeared at the front of their factions. Their guards raised. There was only one 9th rank devil beast, but there were 6 channels. Therefore, there was a 1 in 6 chance of it coming toward them. It would be up to luck. Each channel was equally big, and was thinner at the entrance before widening. The ninth rank devil beast would only be able to go down one of them at a time. Everyone was nervous. That was a ninth rank devil beast. If it charged into any faction, there would definitely be immense casualties. It rapidly advanced, crossing hundreds of miles in practically an instant. As it rushed over, Tang Wanner and the other's expressions changed. That ninth rank devil beast was charging directly for the Dragon Blood Legion's channel. Once they saw which direction it was going, the other factions sighed with relief. The Divine Beast Mansion, Hegemon Hall, and Flame Gates people had smiles on their faces, rejoicing in their misfortune. Long Chen, let me handle it. Tang Wanner's aura began to rise as wind blades revolved around her. With your power, handling it should be no problem, but you'd need some time. Let me do it. It'll be good to raise morale, said Long Chen. Do you need help? Just as Long Chen was about to attack, 
Unexpectedly, the neighboring Hua Shiyu offered her assistance. Thank you. When I can't handle things, I'll definitely ask for your help. Long Chen smiled and declined. The wings behind him flapped, and he shot out like a bolt of lightning at the ninth-ranked devil beast. All the Dragonblood Legion's members' hearts clenched. That was a terrifying ninth-ranked devil beast. Despite knowing that Long Chen was incredibly powerful, they were still worried. Buzz, the rushing ninth-ranked devil beast saw Long Chen, and countless black lines lit up on its body. It opened its mouth, shooting out a black beam at Long Chen. Thunder rang out around Long Chen, and he suddenly shot to the side, dodging the black beam. The beam ended up striking against the wall of the channel, and the world trembled intensely. Quite a few people were thrown into the air by its power. However, the wall was fine. Instead, it was the nearby devil beasts that were blown apart by that attack. It caused everyone's scalps to turn numb. It was truly worthy of being a ninth-ranked devil beast on par with a king. This attack was enough to instantly kill any of them. Long Chen continued to dodge as he advanced, not giving the ninth-ranked devil beast any chance to aim at him. As he pushed the lightning body blink to its peak, in just a few flashes, he appeared in front of it. The ninth rank devil beast sent out a huge claw. As Long Chen dodged it, a long tail suddenly whipped toward him. Long Chen leaked into the air, just narrowly avoiding it. Lightly stomping on the tail, he flipped over to its back. His little hops were done very cleanly and efficiently. Amazing people. The terrifying ninth rank devil beast's attacks were only dodged by a hair's breadth by Long Chen. It was incredibly dangerous. But Long Chen's expression was still indifferent despite that danger. It was like he was intentionally cooperating with the ninth-ranked devil beast to put on a thrilling show. Once he jumped onto its back, a blood-colored saber appeared in Long Chen's hands. Split the heavens too. A blood-colored saber image slashed down. Dazzling people's eyes. The ninth-ranked devil beast's head flew high into the air, its black blood spurting all over. Even once it was beheaded, it didn't stop. Its headless body's momentum carried it forward for dozens of miles. It practically reached the Dragonblood Legion before it finally came to a stop. Long Chen arrived on top of it. Standing on it, he took on a victory pose for the Dragonblood Legion. Just at this moment, a large head fell from the sky and landed right in front of the corpse as if it had been trying to land there on purpose. It was right in front of the ninth rank Devil Beast's neck. Boss is mighty. Following a moment of deathly silence, the Dragonblood Legion burst into thunderous cheering. A ninth rank devil beast had been killed with a single blow from someone at the sea expansion realm. Who else was capable of such a thing? If Long Chen had used his full power to kill it, that would be one thing. But Long Chen hadn't even released his aura. It had just been a single, easy slash of his saber. It was like he hadn't killed a terrifying ninth rank devil beast, but a rabbit. It had been so simple, so easy. This shocked everyone. Tang Wan'er looked at Long Chen worshipfully. She liked it the most when Long Chen displayed his domineering side. Even Hua Shiyu's eyes shone. Long Chen's attack had just been that stunning. He had just displayed the true essence of battle tactics, using the smallest price to get the biggest return. In truth, as soon as Long Chen had seen the ninth rank devil beast, he had determined from its body build that it was a power type existence. Its agility was very weak. So while he had been rushing toward it, he had been accumulating power the entire time all to create an opportunity to kill it in one blow. If it was effective enough, just one attack was enough. This attack had seemed simple, but in reality, it was a display of Long Chen's true combat powers. It required sharp vision, accurate judgment, great control over power, and most importantly, absolute confidence. If this attack hadn't managed to kill it, the ninth rank devil beast would have charged through the Dragonblood Legion. That was also why this one flawless attack made people feel even more excited and passionate. Ninth rank devil beasts aren't as frightening as you think. During a battle, the most important thing is your observation skills. As long as you can grasp your opponent's fatal weakness, they are like cabbage waiting for you to harvest. Everyone, continue killing, said Long Chen, jumping off the corpse. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors roared and attacked all out. Long Chen's attack had raised their morale to an unprecedented height. They felt like their bodies were full of energy, so much so that if they didn't go all out attacking, their energy would cause their bodies to explode. What a handsome attack, an amazing saber, and an even more amazing man. It was unknown how many maidens in the Heaven Female Alliance were starstruck by this attack. To a woman, such a domineering display possessed a fatal attraction. To the cultivation world's women, the more domineering the man, the more moving they would be. 
and Long Chen's domineering side was different from other people's. He never displayed it intentionally. It would just spontaneously reveal itself. It was normally hidden in his bones, or even in his soul. Don't get distracted on the battlefield like love struck fools, chided Hua Xiaoyu. But that attack really was handsome. Even Xiao Ziyan couldn't help but sigh emotionally. You, Hua Xiaoyu glared at her. Xiao Ziyan stuck out her tongue and didn't say any more. While Long Chen's attack had stunned everyone, some people were also envious and uneasy. After killing the ninth rank devil beast, Long Chen extracted a crystal core from its chest. He sensed vast Yuan spiritual energy. The Yuan spiritual energy inside this core was hundreds of times stronger than the one from the 8th rank devil beast. It was almost equivalent to gaining a Yuan spirit stone. But just like the last core, the Yuan spiritual energy only took up a tenth of its total energy. The rest was useless energy that was completely entangled with it. It would be very difficult to extract. Thinking of Yuan spirit stones, Long Chen smiled. Those were priceless treasures to foundation forging disciples, and he had over a billion of them. Originally, Long Chen had been thinking of selling a few to Shen Wenlong for some resources, but before he had gone through with that plan, the Dragonblood Legion's wealth had soared. It was best to use the Yuan Spirit Stones for himself. As time passed, the Devil Beast's numbers increased, and now a tenth of them were at the eighth rank. The proportion was only growing, and all the factions were starting to find it taxing. Some factions had already started to have casualties. Despite the elites of the factions doing their best to slaughter the devil beasts, there were just too many of them. There was no way to protect everyone, and quite a few comparatively weaker disciples ended up dying. The Flame Gate had the highest number of casualties. From the start of the battle until now, over 700 of their disciples had died. One reason was because they only had one rank 5 celestial, and the other reason was that their leader, Xinian, had no leadership abilities. Their formations were stiff and rigid. Casualties had also appeared in the Heaven Female Alliance. However, there weren't that many. Hua Shiayu's flower petals covered a shockingly large area, and on her own, she blocked over half the attacks of the Devil Beasts. But one person's strength didn't represent that their collective strength was great. There were still areas she couldn't look after. The only ones that had maintained a zero casualty count were the Dragonblood Legion and the 10,000 Insect Guild. But although no humans had died in the 10,000 Insect Guild, casualties had appeared in Wang's Hen's Insect Army. He was also starting to find it difficult. Long Chen constantly paid attention to the Dragonblood Legion, and everything was still well under control. Guo Ran was directing them from the air. Thus, for now, there was no danger. However, the pressure on them was extremely great now. But at the same time, what Long Chen wanted was that pressure. The new Dragon Mark warriors still needed to experience this kind of life and death battle to temper their sharp points. Hmm, the number of Devil Beasts is dropping? Is this the end? Long Chen saw that the Devil Beasts' numbers were truly starting to drop. Suddenly, the ground trembled and huge figures rushed over. Seeing that, even Long Chen's expression changed. Chapter 1071 Despicable Means Translator Born to be Changed Formations Heaven Earth Crane Wing Formation Long Chen's expression changed and he hastily shouted. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors didn't even think. With Long Chen at the head, they formed a huge two-winged formation. This was their strongest defensive formation. Everyone saw dozens of huge figures in the Devil Beast Army. They were all ninth rank Devil Beasts. After Long Chen had killed the first ninth rank Devil Beast, two more had appeared successively. They had been killed by Fan Song and Hua Shiayu. Although the two of them had managed to kill the Devil Beasts. They didn't have Long Chen's accurate judgment and were unable to kill it in one easy blow. They had been forced to go all out to kill their targets. When Long Chen had killed his, it had felt like it was over before it had started. But Hua Shiayu and Fan Song had both gone all out, causing everyone to be aware of how terrifying 9th rank devil beasts were. Other than rank 5 celestials, none of them could block them. Now that 70 to 80 ninth rank devil beasts had appeared at once, everyone's expressions changed. There was basically no way for them to survive this. Yan Machen, seeing this many of them, Hu Gishan's expression changed several times before he suddenly cast a special glance at Yan Machen. Yan Machen instantly understood Hu Gishan's intention. He hesitated slightly, but after looking at the distant Long Chen, a ruthless light appeared in his eyes, and then he disappeared. The mass of ninth rank devil beasts charged forward. There were no longer any more devil beasts behind them. Suddenly, a huge earthen wall appeared but those devil beasts instantly slammed their way through it. 
That huge earthen wall was as weak as paper in front of ninth rank devil beasts. There was no effect at all. Has Yan Machen gone crazy? He's blocking all the ninth rank devil beasts on his own. Everyone saw a figure rapidly retreating at the front. Yan Machen was hastily forming hand seals, forming earthen walls one after another that were rapidly blown apart by the devil beasts. As a result, these devil beasts were drawn over to Yan Machen and targeted him. Yan Machen retreated as he repeatedly formed barriers. Killing intent exploded out of Long Chen. Yan Machen, if you dare to harm us, I, Long Chen, swear that whether you ascend to the heavens or flee to hell, I will still kill you. Novaloon.com following Long Chen's furious shout, Hua Shiyu and Wang Shen's expressions also changed. Yan Machen was retreating straight toward Long Chen. He was clearly drawing the devil beasts over to him to exterminate the dragon blood legion. He, Long Chen, I'm helping you stall for time, but you treat me like this? Then fine, we can just handle our own sides. Yan Machen suddenly sneered and disappeared from the ground. A rune flowed across the earth, returning to the hegemon hall. Yan Machen had used an earth evasion technique to escape. Those ninth rank devil beasts lost their target and roared. With furious roars, they charged right toward Long Chen's channel. Because there were so many of them, a portion also scattered through the other channels. But the Dragon Blood Legion was facing the main force, with almost half the ninth rank devil beasts coming to them. Long Chen's side had 35 ninth rank devil beasts charging at them, while the neighboring Hua Shiai was also unlucky. 16 of the devil beasts had gone to her side, and I see killing intent shown in her eyes. Of the remaining four channels, the closest channel guarded by Wang's hen had to deal with nine of them. It was unknown whether it was because they were intimidated by the insect army, but those devil beasts preferred to spread to the other channels. Hu Gishan, Fan Song, and Xinian charged to the front of their channels, doing their best to kill the ninth rank devil beasts. Behind them, Yan Machen, Han Yanshan, Wei Changhe, and the other peak experts also attacked. These three factions had gathered practically all the peak experts from the four outer regions, other than Yan Machen, Han Yanshan, and Wei Changhe. There had also been two other rank 5 celestials who had been recruited. Although they were not innate rank 5 celestials, they were much stronger than rank 4 celestials. These three factions possessed the highest number of peak experts, and they were facing less than 30 devil beasts in total, making it so they were under the least pressure. Guo Ran, don't keep holding back. Bring out your killing weapon. Quick, shouted Long Chen. Guo Ran clenched his teeth and took out a huge crossbow the size of a war chariot. Its body was dark red and covered in runes. As soon as it appeared, it smashed a hole in the ground. Guo Ran was unable to hold it on his own. He quickly took out a golden spear with a Yuan spirit stone embedded in it and set it on the crossbow. Buzz. Guo Ran pulled the trigger. A golden light flew out at the ninth rank devil beasts. Boom. The spear exploded once it reached the ninth rank devil beasts. Its body transforming into sharp fragments that pierced through the nine rank devil beasts flesh. A rain of blood erupted. A month's work for just a bang. Guo Ran's heart was dripping blood. This was a new weapon he had just created. Only Long Chen had known about it, and he hadn't even tried using it before. Those fragments were so sharp that even the flesh of ninth rank devil beasts was unable to resist it. However, such small fragments were also not able to kill ninth rank devil beasts with their huge bodies. But the power behind this explosion had caused the charging ninth rank devil beasts to slow down for a moment. That was exactly what Long Chen had wanted. Raging Flame Prison. Long Chen formed hand seals, and countless flame chains appeared in the air, enveloping all those ninth rank devil beasts. At the same time, a sacred light came from Long Chen's face as he began to chant a scripture that resounded with heaven and earth. It was like gods were chanting along with him. Heaven and earth's flame energy surged toward the flame chains. Long Chen also used all of Huo Long's power to condense this flame prison. He made it as strong as possible. More chains continuously appeared. Back when he had used this move in the eastern wasteland, the flame chains had only been the width of an arm, but now they were already as thick as a person's waist. As the chanting of the Nirvana scripture filled the air, the chains continued to grow, and the flame energy also grew stronger. The ninth rank devil beasts crazily attacked the raging flame prison. Intense rumbling sounded, but they were unable to shake the flame prison. Huo Long, squeeze out all your power. Flame prison death blow. Long Chen ordered Huo Long not to hold back. His own spiritual Yuan poured forth. The huge flame prison immediately trembled. The world seemed to lose all its sound, as if time had frozen. The flame prison suddenly shrank. 
compressing all the ninth rank devil beasts into a three meter ball. Then the flame prison exploded. Long Chen's hands also exploded, turning into lumps of flesh, and he vomited blood. Huo Long's current power was too great, and after being amplified by the Nirvana scripture, the flame energy had far surpassed what the magical art was able to bear. Thus, Long Chen received a heavy backlash. Fortunately, all the ninth rank devil beasts had been killed. However, Huo Long had also been heavily injured and would be unable to move for a short time. After killing all the ninth rank devil beasts, Long Chen looked back to see that Tang Wan Er and the others had already charged over to Hua Shiyu's faction, helping her with the devil beasts. Long Chen took a deep breath and also rushed over. Hua Shiyu's face was currently as pale as paper. She had previously used a forbidden technique to kill eight ninth rank devil beasts that had caused her to suffer heavy internal injuries, but she clenched her teeth and continued to fight. The Heaven Female Alliance was taking huge casualties. These ninth rank devil beasts simply weren't something they could handle. Tang Wan Er, Gu Yang, and an armored Guo Ran were each fighting against one ninth rank devil beast on their own. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan were circulating the Earth's energy to protect the Heaven Female Alliance's people to avoid even greater casualties. Blood-colored light flashed. One of the two devil beasts that Hua Shiyu was fighting was killed with a slash from Long Chen's saber. Thank you. Hua Shiyu's eyes were slightly red. If it hadn't been for the Dragon Blood Legion, there might no longer be a Heaven Female Alliance. Quickly kill them. Long Chen had already charged over to the ninth rank devil beast that was forcing Song Mingyuan and Li Qi to repeatedly retreat. The two of them had already activated their spirit blood and were doing their best to protect everyone. But it still wasn't enough. Seeing that their defenses were about to break, Long Chen hastily slashed his saber. Blood-colored light filled the sky and then disappeared. The Heaven Female Alliance's disciples couldn't help but be stunned. That huge ninth rank devil beast's body slowly split apart. Through that crack, they saw a wild and domineering figure that was charging at another ninth rank devil beast. Long Chen found that although these devil beasts' offensive power was extremely great, they had no intelligence. As long as someone was capable of blocking them from the front, a sneak attack from one of their blind spots was fatal. They could be killed in one blow. Long Chen killed three of them, while Hua Shiyu killed hers and went to assist Tang Wan Er. All the devil beasts were quickly handled. The battlefield descended into a deathly silence. Hua Shiyu looked over the Heaven Female Alliance. In just an instant, thousands of her sisters had died. Killing intent raged in her eyes. I'm going to kill people. Do you want to come? Asked Long Chen. Let's go. Hua Shiyu clenched her teeth. All of you just stay here. Don't move. Ordered Long Chen to the Dragon Blood Legion. Walking side by side with Hua Shiyu, he looked toward the three factions. They were also icily staring back at them. Chapter 1072 Ruthlessly Slaughtering Heavenly Genius's Translator Born to be with his blood-colored saber resting on his shoulder, Long Chen walked over directly to Hu Gishan and the others with Hua Shiyu. His eyes were both calm. Those familiar with Long Chen knew that this calm represented that his killing intent had reached a peak. There was no longer any need for him to suppress it, because he was about to kill people. Yan Ma Chen, come out and face your death. Long Chen's killing intent caused space to twist around him. It was like the arrival of a death god. Long Chen, do you think you can arrogantly kill my people? Do you think you have the qualifications? Sneered Hu Gishan. I'm going to kill. Those who block me will die. Replied Long Chen icily. His footsteps didn't stop. His aura was continuously rising. Ha ha ha. Then let's see how you try to kill me. Laughed Fan Song. Hu Gishan. Fan Song. Xinian. Yan Ma Chen. Wei Chang He. Han Yanshan and the other two rank 5 celestials all stood at the front. Eight powerful experts stared coldly at Long Chen and Hua Shiyu. I'm about to start. Take care, said Long Chen to Hua Shiyu. Suddenly, a four-colored divine ring emerged behind him, and four stars appeared in his eyes. Green dragon battle armor, scales covered Long Chen's body, and his aura erupted like a volcano, causing heaven and earth to rumble and astral winds to rage. A blood-colored saber image tore through the sky and slashed down at the eight of them. Hu Gishan and the others were startled. They had thought that with their absolute superiority, Long Chen and Hua Shiyu wouldn't dare to fight them. The power difference was too great, and they thought the two of them were just putting on a show. But this attack from Long Chen had no mercy, no leeway. The killing intent within this attack could cause ghosts to sob and gods to weep. He was truly trying to kill them. Flower Sea buries the heavens. At the same time as Long Chen, Hua Shiyu also attacked. 
An endless sea of flower petals condensed into a huge ring. That ring began to rapidly spin, acting as a huge circular blade that tore through the void toward them. Hu Gishan's body suddenly grew, and black hair covered him. His teeth became sharp, and he instantly transformed into a huge devil ape. No one had thought that Hu Gishan was a beast cultivator as he had never revealed this beast merging art before. He was now a six-meter devil ape, and he smashed a fist forward Novaloon.com at the same time. Fan Song attacked. His blood key erupted, and punching with Hu Gishan, they blocked Hua Shiyu and Long Chen's attacks. In their opinion, if too many of them fought, it would make them appear weaker. What they wanted was to force the two of them back in the fairest manner. Boom. The four attacks crashed together. What? Astral winds erupted. But that wasn't what caused the shocked cry. The shocked cry had come from someone who suddenly noticed that a person carrying a saber had appeared right beside him. The person who cried out was Han Yunshin. He was arrogantly standing with his hands clasped behind his back, eagerly waiting to see how Long Chen was humiliated. He hadn't thought that Long Chen would bypass Hu Gishan without anyone noticing him. Ice Frost Shield PFFT. His ice shield had only just begun to appear when Long Chen's saber reached his body. He was blown to bloody mist. When the astral winds finally faded, everyone just managed to see a blood colored flash as Han Yunshin was killed. Seeing that, it felt like the world had become still. Han Yunshin, a generation's heavenly genius, a rank 5 celestial who had awakened the ability to merge with heaven and earth, someone with overflowing battle power, was killed in one blow by Long Chen. Furthermore, the power within Long Chen's saber had also destroyed Han Yunshin's soul. There was no chance of any revival for him. Courting death, Hu Gishin roared furiously and smashed a fist toward Long Chen. At the same time, Xinian's flame blade slashed over, but Long Chen ignored their attacks. As soon as he had killed Han Yunshin, he slashed his saber at a tricky angle toward a shocked Wei Changhe. Wei Changhe was horrified. The feeling of death instantly filled his heart. He didn't even have the courage to block. Water Key appeared around him, and he rapidly retreated. Bang! Just at this moment, Xinian and Hu Gishin's attacks arrived, but they didn't reach Long Chen. They were blocked by a petal shield from Hua Shiyu. No! A miserable cry rang out. In the distance, Wei Changhe was entangled by a lightning dragon and unable to move. A blood-colored saber stabbed through his back and out his chest. Die! Berserk power exploded out of Blood Rinker, and Wei Changhe's body was blown apart. Another rank 5 celestial was killed. Long Chen put away Lai Long and vanished. Like a phantom, he rushed back toward Hu Gishan and the others. This goddamn madman. Hu Gishan was infuriated. He was sure Long Chen was a madman. He really did dare to kill people, and not just anyone. He was killing the top heavenly geniuses raised by the Zhuanshan Dao sect he had signed his own death sentence. Long Chen, that's about enough, shouted Hua Shiyu. In the beginning, when she had said she would kill people with Long Chen, she had just been venting. She hadn't really thought of killing anyone. But now after two people were killed, there were no signs of Long Chen stopping. Now she was a bit panicked. If you're afraid, you can go. You might be fine with your sisters dying for nothing, but my brothers can't die for nothing. Long Chen ignored Hua Shiyu. Because of helping out the Heaven Female Alliance, seven Dragon Mark warriors had died. Long Chen didn't regret that the Dragon Blood Legion had gone to help the Heaven Female Alliance, nor did he blame them. Each member of the Dragon Blood Legion was a hot blooded man, and they definitely wouldn't just watch as weak women were butchered in front of them. If they did, they wouldn't be fit to be warriors of the Dragon Blood Legion. But their deaths had been because of a certain idiot. That idiot would have to pay the price. Provoked by Long Chen's words, Hua Shiyu clenched her teeth. Seeing that Long Chen had already attacked, her flower petals condensed into a spear that pierced toward Hu Gishan. Boom. Hu Gishan blocked Hua Shiyu's attack with a punch. But Hua Shiyu's flower petals contained runes that possessed some kind of strange energy. He was knocked back. Hua Shiyu, you've also gone mad. Do you want to die with him? Roared Hu Gishan. But Hua Shiyu ignored him. An unhealthy redness appeared on her beautiful face, and two runes suddenly lit up within her eyes. The flower petals suddenly seemed to come alive. They formed a huge dragon that attacked Hu Gishan. Despite her condition, Hua Shiyu had decided to use her forbidden technique once more. Boom. Hu Gishan was forced back once again and coughed up blood. Hua Shiyu's terrifying petal dragon was incredibly powerful. He was horrified, not expecting Hua Shiyu to be so powerful. She was clearly exhausted but still able to unleash such power. Seeing that Hu Gishan was unable to block the next attack, Fan Song suddenly took his place to block it. 
But although he managed to block it with a punch, blood dripped down his hand and he was also knocked back. With Fan Song's assistance, Hu Gishan gained some breathing room. Working together, they managed to block Hua Shiyu. They couldn't bother any longer about the others. At this time, Long Chen was fighting intensely against Xinian, Yan Machen, and the two rank 5 Celestials. Yan Machen's Earth Giant was destroyed in an instant by Long Chen, and he was no longer able to summon it for a moment. He could only rely on fleeing through the ground to avoid him. Long Chen forced back Xinian's flame blade and suddenly used his shoulder to receive a rank 5 celestial sword. That sword pierced his shoulder, but just as that disciple was surprised by this, Long Chen's saber slashed through his head. This was using an injury to exchange for a life. Long Chen was used to doing this, although they were rank 5 celestials, and although he had heavily injured himself by using the raging flame prison at full power, just with his battle experience, he could easily crush them. Another heavenly genius was killed, leaving behind only Xinian, Yan Machen, and another rank 5 celestial. They were all intimidated now, just as they were hesitating over whether to continue fighting or run. Long Chen took advantage of that hesitation to raise Blood Drinker to the sky. He activated the 27 divine runes in his acupuncture points. Compared to the first and second forms of Split the Heavens, using the third form required a short cast time at his current power level. Although it wasn't as long as the Raging Flame Prison, such a short time could be fatal in a battle against experts. Such an opening would only bring a person to death faster. Those kinds of battles where people instantly unleashed their strongest moves at the start were absolute nonsense. They were just used to dazzle others. In real battles, large moves were often difficult to unleash and required careful preparation. Normally, you either had to create distance, or use some kind of ruthless move to force back your opponent. There was also another option, that was to take advantage of when your opponents were filled with hesitation and indecision to unleash your ultimate move. Buzz. A huge saber image soared into the clouds. Energy that felt like it could exterminate heaven and earth condensed in the air. The saber image was completely straight. Its power caused the river of stars to quiver. In that instant, Xinian, Yan Machen, and the other rank 5 celestial turned as pale as paper. They were locked down by a terrifying aura. At that moment, it felt like they were facing a merciless death god whose sickle was slowly approaching them. The huge saber image crashed down. It seemed to fill every corner of the world. Whether you fled to the heavens or hell, you wouldn't be able to escape it. Flame sealed the heavens. Great earth and protection. Dark underworld shield. The three of them activated their spirit blood, using self-destructive moves to unleash their greatest defensive moves. Their defenses had barely formed before the saber image reached them. Chapter 1073 Divine Power Shocks All Translator Born to be the huge saber image contained boundless killing intent. It tore through the air, causing the void to rumble. Boom. It slashed down upon their three defenses. The defensive measures they had used self-destructive methods to summon instantly blew up. The earth shook intensely, and a terrifying key wave erupted in every direction. The ground was stripped of a layer of stones. Even the distant Hua Shiyu, Hu Gishan, and Fan Song were blown back by the key wave. Hua Shiyu coughed up blood and flew dozens of miles away. She had already used a forbidden technique against the devil beasts. Then she had used it once more to stall Hu Gishan and Fan Song. As soon as she was struck by that key wave, her aura dropped precipitously. Just as she was about to smash into the ground, Xiao Ziyan flew over and caught her. The key wave rampaged through the entire battlefield. When the dust finally settled, people saw a huge hole in front of Long Chen. There were two people lying in the hole, gasping for breath. The two of them were Xinian and Yan Machen. The two of them lay in the hole, constantly coughing up blood, all their bones broken. Xinian's head had even caved in, making his current state appear frightening. As for the other rank 5 celestial, he had already disappeared. He had been blown to bits by the attack. Long Chen stabbed his saber into the ground and gasped for breath. That was his current strongest saber attack. But it was also exhausting to use. To activate 27 divine runes instantly consumed the majority of his spiritual yuan. But the worst thing was that it had provoked his previous injury from breaking the limits of the raging flame prison. Both he and Huo Long had suffered a heavy backlash from that power. Right now. The trees in the primal chaos space no longer possessed enough life energy to help him too much. At best, they were only able to suppress some of his injuries, but they were unable to instantly heal the injuries any longer. After using up so much spiritual yuan, he no longer had the power to suppress those injuries. He felt like his body was about to break down. 
On the surface, it looked like he was meatly panting for breath, but in reality, cracks had appeared in his body. Those were very serious injuries, but Long Chen raised his saber and slowly walked toward the two of them. The two of them were filled with terror. They could clearly feel the sensation of death descending upon them. They wanted to say something, but as soon as they opened their mouths, they coughed up blood. Just as Long Chen got close, a flame arrow shot toward him. This attack came out of nowhere, and before anyone could react, it reached his chest. Xinian continued to cough up blood, but he had a sinister smile. That was his Earth Flame's trump card. At such a close distance, there was no way for Long Chen to dodge. This sudden attack caused startled cries from everyone. No one had expected that Xinian, who had been on his final breaths, would still be holding back such a powerful move. Long Chen smiled with derision. He was the true ancestor of playing with fire. Was it even possible for him to forget about the powerful earth flame in Xinian's body? The flame arrow was Xinian's earth flame that had transformed into an arrow. Its power was such that even a king would be killed if struck. Just as this arrow was about to pierce Long Chen's body, a lightning dragon appeared and bit down on the arrow. Then the lightning dragon and flame arrow disappeared together. Xinian turned pale. In that instant, he lost his connection to his earth flame. That was naturally because the earth flame was suppressed within the primal chaos space. Within the primal chaos space, it seemed to be suffering some kind of pressure and didn't dare to resist. Huo Long was like a magical beast that had been starving for millennia, and it immediately pounced. The earth flame simply allowed itself to be devoured. Long Chen's saber stabbed through Xinian's chest. The power behind his saber caused Xinian's body to explode. The instant his body exploded, a translucent soul flew out. As a flame cultivator, Xinian possessed powerful spiritual strength. His spiritual body had only just appeared and begun to flee when a lightning arrow flew toward him. No. Xinian's soul let out a miserable and unwilling cry. But that cry was unable to change his fate of being completely exterminated. The lightning arrow struck Xinian's soul, causing it to dissipate. Long Chen then stabbed his saber into Yan Machen's chest. He raised him into the air. Yan Machen's bones were all broken, and he was like a lump of flesh. I said that whether you ascend to the heavens or flee to hell, I would still kill you. Now you should believe it. Long Chen's voice was icy cold as he stared at Yan Machen. Everyone on the battlefield was staring at Long Chen in shock. They were unable to even feel their hearts beating. Han Yunchen had died. Wei Changhe had died. Xinian had died. Those two rank 5 celestials had also died. Those were all peak heavenly geniuses, but they had been killed one by one just like this. Even Hu Gishan and Fan Song were as pale as paper. They had also misjudged Long Chen. Long Chen was much crazier than they had thought. Seeing Yan Machen hang helplessly with Long Chen's saber through him, everyone was deathly silent. Hu Gishan and Fan Song were both too far to possibly do anything. They simply watched. Hu Shiyu managed to stand with Xiao Ziyan's support. She stared at that distant figure. Wild. Domineering. A devil who could not be restrained. It was like within heaven and earth. He was the only thing that existed. Long Chen. Go ahead and kill me. In any case. You'll also die. Ha ha ha. Cough. Yan Ma Chen already knew that his death was doubtless today. He smiled sinisterly at Long Chen. Unfortunately. You'll never see that day. I'll be sending you on your way now. Said Long Chen coldly. Stop. Just at this moment. Five figures rushed over. Those five were wearing robes of the senior generation. The one leading them was a handsome and cold man. How brazen Long Chen. You dare to kill people from the same sect? Your crimes have already earned you the death penalty. So hurry up and release him. He shouted. Seeing that man. Hu Gishan and Fan Song smiled. Even Yan Ma Chen. Who had accepted his death. Had his eyes brighten. He. Long Chen. You can't kill me. Senior apprentice brother Zian Yang is here. Once you kill me, he'll crush you like an ant. It was unknown whether or not it was because of his excitement. But Yan Ma Chen suddenly had a surge of life. Death penalty? Release him? Another bunch of arrogant idiots who look down on others. You're definitely related to the law enforcement hall. How laughable. If I've already earned the death penalty, why would I release him? Is the only thing in your head's crap. Sneered Long Chen. Spiritual Yuan poured into his saber. As long as he willed it, he could kill Yan Ma Chen and no one would be able to stop him. That cold man narrowed his eyes, and a hint of killing intent appeared within him. This was his first time encountering someone who dared to speak to him like this, and it was just a sea expansion disciple. In reality, he was one of the top heavenly geniuses of the previous generation. 
He was at the peak of foundation forging and a rank six celestial. Even ordinary elders wouldn't dare to offend him. Long Chen's deduction was completely right. He was closely related to the law enforcement hall. He had already joined their side. In the Zhuangshan Dao sect, disciples could freely join any department they wanted once they reached foundation forging. This could be likened to an application. Once they advanced to the Jade Core Realm, in other words, the level of a king, they would become elders of that department. For those who had joined a department, their glory would be the departments, and the department would greatly support them. It was also due to this that the law enforcement hall had still spent a huge number of points on Xinian despite him losing his earth flames repeatedly. Although Xinian, Hu Gishan, and Fan Song hadn't reached foundation forging and couldn't officially join them yet, that didn't stop them from receiving the law enforcement hall's patronage. The law enforcement hall's power was just what they wanted. So Yan Machen, Fan Song, and Hu Gishan all knew who this cold man was, and they also felt much more secure in seeing him arrive. I don't believe you dare to kill him. The instant you kill him, I will kill you, said that icy man. The instant he spoke, the world became silent. Some kind of formless energy locked onto Long Chen. This was a spatial lock that could be used once someone reached foundation forging. Through great power, he had compressed space, causing Long Chen to be under immense pressure. Someone with a weak cultivation base wouldn't even be able to move in such a situation. They would be no different than an ant whose life was in the foundation forging expert's hands. This was the difference between the sea expansion realm and the foundation forging realm. Under this kind of spatial lock, each one of Long Chen's movements was sensed by the cold man. As soon as Long Chen used his power to kill Yan Machen, it would be sensed, and the cold man would launch an all-out attack. Release him, and you might be able to live, he called. His voice was full of confidence and unquestionable dignity. Who do you think you are to order me? I, Long Chen, never submit to threats. Long Chen suddenly smiled coldly. A lightning arrow shot out of his body and struck Yan Machen. The lightning arrow pierced Yan Machen's head. Yan Machen's eyes widened. Within those widened eyes, the only thing that existed was unwillingness. Chapter 1074 Guilty? Translator. Born to be Yan Machen was killed right in front of that cold senior disciple. The tension in the air reached a peak. Since you want to die, I'll help you out. The senior disciple waved a hand, and thousands of runic swords appeared around him, shooting toward Long Chen. Split the heavens three. Long Chen had been secretly circulating his spiritual yuan even before killing Yan Machen. He had activated all 27 divine runes. However, he had less than a third of his spiritual yuan, causing his attack's power to sharply drop. Boom. Long Chen's saber image exploded upon contact with the senior disciple's swords and he was blown back, vomiting blood. Many faint cracks appeared on his body. Not bad. You were able to receive one of my attacks, but you'll still die. The senior disciple summoned a huge sword image. It split into two, and then two split into four. Their sharpness caused the void to be easily pierced by them. They shot toward Long Chen. This was one of his truly powerful attacks, and there was no way for Long Chen to resist it, especially not in his heavily injured state. Long Chen took a deep breath. A medicinal pill suddenly appeared in his hand. The Dragon Tiger Heavenly Explosion Pill. That was a top-grade pill he had obtained in the immemorial path. Just as he was about to swallow it, a cold shout rang out. Gao Zianiang, you grow more and more shameless. Do you not feel ashamed to bully a newcomer? Sword Key slashed down, destroying Gao Zianiang's four sword images. Su Mo appeared in front of Long Chen. At the same time, a gentle hand pressed onto Long Chen's back. Vast life energy poured into his body. In front of this practically inexhaustible life energy, his injuries began to slowly heal. Many thanks. Senior apprentice sister Kingsuin. Long Chen didn't even need to look back to know that Mu Kingsuin had arrived. Sigh. I don't know what to say to you. Just keep quiet and use my energy to heal, said Mu Kingsuin. At this time, the Dragon Blood Legion and the Heaven Female Alliance came to stand by his side. The Flame Gate, Hegemon Hall and Divine Beast Mansion's disciples were all standing by Hu Gishan and Fan Song. The two sides were sharply opposed. Wang Zhen looked at this scene for a moment, and without a word, he went to stand by Long Chen. Su Mo, does a defeated general like you have any qualifications to speak? Asked Gao Zianiang coldly. Su Mo shook his head. You're the one who is clearest on whether or not I have the qualifications. Now that the matter has reached this point, more words have no meaning. This matter cannot be resolved by just my elder hall or your law enforcement hall. 
After Sumo finished speaking, everyone's badges lit up. After a moment of darkness, their vision brightened as they reappeared in the Zuanshan Dao Sect's inner sect plaza. At this time, there were tens of thousands of disciples already waiting. They were all disciples from the previous generation, foundation forging experts. Their bodies were covered in blood, and their clothes were torn. They had clearly also gone through a bitter battle. Not only were there tens of thousands of foundation forging disciples, but there were also over a thousand elders, as well as various experts on the level of hall masters. Most shocking of all, even the Zuan master himself had arrived. Heavy pressure hung in the air. No one dared to make a sound. With Mu King Zuan's help, Long Chen's injuries had been suppressed, but they were just suppressed. They were not healed. That discouraged Mu King Zuan. Her wood energy was like a sacred medicine. With her cultivation base, any injuries should be instantly healed. But her wood energy had actually lost effect on Long Chen. Last time, she had been able to heal him. But this time, she only managed to suppress his injury, making sure it wouldn't get worse. Long Chen, do you know your sins? Shouted the Zuan Master coldly. All the Hall Masters and Elders' hearts shook. In their memory, the Zuan Master was always indifferent and leisurely. He never seemed to care too much no matter what was happening. But this matter had actually evoked such thunderous anger from him. I don't. Long Chen shook his head. He has gods. The Zuan Master icily looked at Long Chen before continuing to shout. You repeatedly killed members from the same sect as you. But you don't know your sins? There is no way to pardon you now. Is there something wrong with killing people from the same sect? Asked Long Chen with an uncomprehending expression. Bastard. What a stupid question. Are you trying to play the fool? Killing people from the same sect is punishable by having all of one's bones broken, muscles pulled out, and soul extracted. Long Chen, let's see how you try to escape your punishment now. The law enforcement hall master smiled sinisterly. Fuck your mother, you old bastard. Do you think this matter has anything to do with you? What qualifications do you have to interject here? Cursed Long Chen, you, Luo Fan, shut your mouth. Do you even place me in your eyes? Do you think you can control everything within the Zuanshan Dao sect? Shouted the Zuan master. The instant he spoke, the world suddenly turned dark. Black clouds filled the sky, flashing with lightning. A terrifying pressure descended. The Zuan master is furious. Even the heavenly Daos become furious with him. The hall master's hearts shook. Just his emotions had affected the heavenly Daos. In that instant, everyone felt themselves to be ants. Looking up at the heaven's fury. Even those on the level of Hall Master shivered, their soul shaking. It was like the Zuan Master could exterminate them with just a thought. The law enforcement Hall Master shook, large droplets of sweat dripping down his forehead. His face was pale. Disciple doesn't dare. He immediately knelt on the ground respectfully. If you don't dare, then shut up, shouted the Zuan Master. Then to Long Chen, he icily demanded, Long Chen, what did you just say? All the disciples beside Long Chen. Whether they were from the Dragonblood Legion, Heaven Female Alliance, or any other faction, knelt on the ground. Even Sumo, Mu Kingsuan, and Gao Xianyang knelt. In front of the Heaven's Fury, every person would have to submit. That kind of pressure came from the depths of the soul. Only by kneeling could they express their reverence for the Heavenly Deos. But Long Chen was still standing. That fierce Heavenly Deo pressure was something he could sense. But he had no fear toward it. After so many Heavenly Tribulations. He had gone against the heavenly Deos many times, and he had never submitted. He could practically ignore this kind of pressure. Seeing that Long Chen could remain standing, the Hall Masters were all shocked. No cultivator could possibly disrespect the heavenly Deos. Long Chen had to be a monster. As expected, he's a divergent. The Zuan Master's expression didn't change. He continued to icily stare at Long Chen. I said, is there something wrong with killing people from the same sect? Long Chen was also looking back at the Zuan Master. In truth, he had no fear. The Zuan Master's aura might be able to trick others, but it couldn't trick his spiritual perception that came from the Nine Star Hegemon body art. His intuition told him that the Zuan Master wasn't truly angry. Instead, he was just intentionally acting that way. It was just that no one else was able to tell that. Luo Fan, why don't you tell him if there is something wrong with it or not? said the Zuan Master. Luo Fan hastily said. Yes, according to the Zuanshan Dao Sect's 1359th section, the sixth paragraph are you stupid or deaf? The Zuan Master asked you to tell me whether or not there was something wrong with it. Just say yes or no, interrupted Long Chen. The Zuan Master's expression was icy cold. 
He wondered to himself if Long Chen even knew what it meant to feel fear. Fine, yes. Luo Fan's words were spat from the space between his teeth, making them sound very unpleasant. There is? Good. Then I'm relieved. Long Chen nodded. What are you talking about? Asked the Zuan Master. Yan Machen received someone's instructions to intentionally draw the ninth rank devil beasts to my Dragonblood Legion, and even the Heaven Female Alliance was implicated. Thousands of my brothers and sisters were killed. Since there is a problem with killing people from the same sect, then Yan Machen had committed incredibly grave sins. Killing him was cleaning up the sect and protecting the sect from harm. So Grand Zuan Master, I don't know what my sins are, said Long Chen. What nonsense. You didn't just kill Yan Machen. What about those innocent heavenly geniuses? Demanded Luo Fan. Innocent? As the master of the law enforcement hall. Can you grow a brain? I was cleaning up the sect. But they were protecting a murderer. How are they innocent? Sneered Long Chen. So something like that happened? Who told Yan Machen to do this? The Zuan master's gaze swept through the disciples. Hu Gishan and Fan Song both quivered. Even kneeling on the ground. They didn't dare to look at the Zuan master. They felt like everything about them was exposed. Reporting, to Zuan Master, no one told him anything. Yan Machen acted because of his personal enmity with Long Chen. It has nothing to do with us, said Hu Gishan. Yan Machen's actions had been too obvious, and there was no way that people would misunderstand his intentions. Now that he was dead, the smartest act would be to place all the blame on him. Originally, Hu Gishan hadn't thought that this matter would become so big. The law enforcement hall had only said that as long as he had a chance, he should kill Long Chen. But now this matter had blown up to the point that even the law enforcement hall couldn't handle it anymore. Hu Gishan was afraid now. Now, he couldn't even hope for Long Chen to be executed. All he could hope was that he wouldn't be implicated. After all, six top heavenly geniuses had been killed. If he was careless, even his life might be paid as a price. But by saying this, he was testifying for Long Chen that Yan Machen had intentionally harmed his own sect, reducing Long Chen's sins. However, there was no way around that anymore. Protecting his own life was more important. Luo Fan's expression was a bit ugly, but he also had no way to handle this. If there was an investigation, it would be troublesome. It really was best to place all the blame on a dead ghost. But having Long Chen killed for this matter was now becoming unlikely. Then let's put that matter aside for now. Let me ask, how is it that ninth rank devil beasts would appear on the battlefield of the new disciples, and over 70 at once? The Zuan Master's gaze instantly became sharp like blades. Chapter 1075 Ghost Prison Translator Born to be when the Zuan Master said this, a few people's expressions changed, especially one of the disciples beside Gao Zianiang. His face was pale as paper, and he began to quiver. The truth was that he was one of the defenders for the channel leading to the place Long Chen and the other new disciples had been guarding. He had been leading a few powerful foundation forging experts against the ninth rank devil beasts. They had slowly released the devil beasts below the ninth rank through the channel. That way people would fight the devil beasts most suited for their level. And it was the most effective way to kill them all. But as they had been killing the ninth rank devil beasts, they had gradually forgotten to look after the channel for the new disciples. They had been focused on killing the ninth rank devil beasts. After all, this was also a chance to get rich. Later. Too many ninth rank devil beasts had appeared, and they had been forced back. But when one of them suddenly saw a wave of ninth rank devil beasts charging down the side channel leading to the new disciples, his soul had almost fled in fright. He had hastily alerted Gao Zianiang, asking him what to do. Such a grave mistake was punishable by death. Gao Zianiang had immediately summoned over a few experts to help him kill the devil beasts there. He had immediately set out leading a group of people to chase after the ones that had gotten past. As a result, he got there just in time to see Long Chen kill Yan Machen. Now that he was asked about this, that disciple turned pale. It was disciple's negligence. Luo Fan, this is one of the disciples of your law enforcement hall. You should know how to handle him, said the Zuan master coldly. Disciple understands. It's the death penalty. However, Luo Fan wanted to plead for leniency for that disciple. After all, he was a rank 6 celestial. There are no excuses. He ignored other people's lives for points. I want to see the results within three days. Send him to the supervising department, ordered the Zuan master. Yes, the law enforcement hall master could only agree. That disciple was brought away by two others. Clearly, the only thing that awaited him was death. This punishment was truly a bit heavy. 
After all, that was a rank 6 foundation forging celestial. However, his mistake had almost caused all the new disciples to be killed. That was definitely unforgivable. Luo Fan, that was a disciple of your law enforcement hall. You share both honor and disgrace. As the master, you are also to blame. Starting today, you are demoted half a rank to a vice hall master. The law enforcement hall's decisions will have to be jointly decided by the three vice hall masters. The Zuan master's words shocked all the hall masters. The Zuan master was finally giving a blow to the law enforcement hall. Clearly, the Zuan master was using this matter as an excuse to punish them. However, this punishment was a bit heavy. His orders would now have to be discussed and agreed with by others. Although the other two vice hall masters would definitely not disagree with Luo Fan's decisions, and it would still be his decisions that reigned supreme, it was a big blow to his face for him to be demoted in public. Congratulations on your new position, vice hall master, said Long Chen at the first opportunity. In any case, they were already mortal enemies, and there was no reason for him to hold back with him. You want to kill me? Well, even if I can't beat you to death, I can anger you to death. The law enforcement hall master, no, the law enforcement vice hall master Luo Fan, was so enraged that his face turned dark and his teeth creaked from being clenched. He had an urge to crush Long Chen with a single palm. He was infuriated. This punishment was too harsh. Even if the law enforcement hall had some blame, there was no need for the Zuan master to give him such a heavy punishment, to publicly demote him in front of all the elders and disciples. However, he couldn't display this anger toward him. Long Chen. Although you had a reason for your actions, your way of handling things was too drastic and aggressive. It cannot be said that you were completely right. You are to be imprisoned in the ghost prison for ten days, said the Zuan master. He waved his hand, and a ray of divine light descended upon Long Chen. Long Chen disappeared. Hearing that Long Chen was being imprisoned in the ghost prison, quite a few elders' expressions changed. They knew Long Chen was about to suffer. Everyone else can leave, if you want to obtain your points. You can go to the Elder Palace. After sending Long Chen to the Ghost Prison, the Zuan Master also disappeared. In the end, it was the Elder Hall Master who took over. Liu Kang, don't be too pleased, said Luo Fan as everyone was leaving. I don't know what you're talking about, said Liu Kang. Stop playing stupid. I admit defeat Ring this time, but just wait. It's still too early to say who will be the final winner, snorted Luo Fan. Looking at Luo Fan's departing figure. Li Changfen walked over to Liu Kang, shaking his head. I really can't understand why the Zuan master would allow such an idiot to become the law enforcement hall master. Was it just because of the merit his ancestor contributed to the Zuan Shindeo sect? Don't say such a thing. The Zuan master's intelligence and schemes aren't something we can comprehend, said Liu Kang. Well, this time, Long Chen's going to have some suffering to go through. That ghost prison isn't a good place, said Li Changfeng. No. You're wrong. Long Chen possesses tribulation lightning. What ghosts would dare to approach him? Liu Kang shook his head. That's right. Then the Zuan master. He. I've already said that he isn't in existence the likes of us can comprehend. Go and get some people to work. The number of people exchanging their bracelets for points in the Elder Palace is going to keep us busy. After saying that, the two of them also left. Long Chen's vision was dark. He had appeared in a sealed space 300 meters wide with no sound. No airflow. No nothing. It was only silent. Silent like death. GGGG. Suddenly, sinister laughter rang out, and the walls of the prison lit up. Strange images appeared. They were monsters that had bat-like wings and human heads. They flew back and forth across the walls. Although they had human heads, their eyes were sunken cavities, and two sharp fangs protruded out of their mouths. Their mouths themselves were so wide that they almost reached their ears. Following that sinister laughing, those monstrous life forms actually flew out of the walls and began to fly closer to Long Chen. They revolved around him, their laughter capable of causing a person's blood to turn cold. That sound made it feel like needles were stabbing his soul. It would make a person feel so much pain that they would long for death. Only those who experienced it would know how painful it was. But this kind of spiritual pain wasn't all bad. The benefits were that it could be likened to crushing a person's soul, making it easier for them to expel impurities. But that pain wasn't something an ordinary person could endure. Normally, a person wouldn't be able to last even a day in here. Three days was a limit. Staying past three days would make a person crazy. Shut up. Long Chen's spiritual strength was incredibly powerful. But even after summoning spiritual defenses, 
he felt a headache from listening to their laughter. GGGG your mother. Long Chen roared in fury, and lightning exploded from his body. Those bizarre life forms instantly flew back to the walls and returned to being images. Only then did Long Chen sigh with relief. Their voices had been too irritating, making it so he couldn't even hear his own thoughts. He had also encountered these kinds of strange things in the immemorial path. Yu Ziaokian had said they were the result of a person's soul splitting into three parts, with the part known as the Mei transforming into this kind of state. However, they were much stronger than the ghost creatures he had encountered in the immemorial path. But the curious thing was, he didn't sense any hostility from them. They seemed to almost have been raised by humans, and were in charge of tempering a person's soul. However, Long Chen was unable to bear that kind of tempering method. After scaring them away, he began to look over the walls of his prison. There were only four walls, and adding in the ceiling and the floor, there were six. The ceiling didn't have these kinds of creatures carved into it. Instead, it had a simple symbol written on it. It was like a bunch of random arcs had been drawn together. It somehow looked both random as well as meticulously drawn. Each arc was of different lengths and curves. Piled together, they should have appeared completely chaotic. However, they gave off a natural and harmonious feeling. This image is definitely strange. Long Chen was startled. This complicated symbol made him think of the diagram he had encountered in the entrance of the immemorial path. That diagram had refused to allow itself to be copied. In the end, he had used the primal chaos bead to record it. However, even now, he didn't know how to use it. Later, he had asked the Eastern Wasteland Bell about it, but it had merely said that it was related to the secrets of heaven and earth. With his cultivation base, it was best not to learn about it. That diagram was simple, almost like an ancestor of all runes, but it also contained some kind of mysterious energy. Now, this symbol gave him the same kind of feeling. Was the Zuan master trying to intentionally help him? Long Chen began to carefully examine the lines, but he wasn't able to see any clues. It was like pieces of firewood had been thrown together. It was clearly completely random without any rules to it. But then looking at it, it felt natural and perfect in its chaotic state. Hey, come out. I want to ask you something. Long Chen called out the ghosts inside the walls. Long Chen was confident these ghosts were most likely raised by the Zuanshan Dao sect. They were used to either punish disciples or to temper their souls. Even after waiting a long time, there was no reaction from the walls. Long Chen clapped himself on the head. He took out a golden coin and tossed it into the air. Hundreds of ghosts suddenly charged out of the walls to the golden coin. They actually caused powerful spatial rumbling. Don't fight. Don't fight. I have more for you. Whoever can tell me what the thing on the ceiling is and how it's used will be thanked lavishly by my money. Long Chen took out a handful of golden coins. As soon as those golden coins appeared, the ghosts charged toward Long Chen. Prepared. Thunder force appeared around his body, forcing them back. Long Chen laughed mischievously. As expected, money could make even ghosts work. He could feel their greed and desire. Just at this moment, ripples flowed over him. They were actually spiritual messages that delighted Long Chen. He hastily looked up once more. Chapter 1076 Zuanshan Catalog Translator Born to be the Zuan Master was sitting alone in a private room, and there was a certain scene on the wall before him. That scene showed Long Chen who had been cast into the ghost prison. Are you starting to reap the harvest? Asked an ancient voice. Yes. Originally, there should have been a longer time before the harvest. But Long Chen's arrival has changed my plans a bit. The Zuan Master nodded. Are you helping Long Chen or harming him? You actually gave him the entire Zuanshan catalog to look at. It can't count as helping or harming him. I'm just giving him an opportunity. Today, I saw many things because of Long Chen. And in particular, I saw some variables that are not in my control. These variables are largely beneficial to the Zuanshan Dao sect. So I've used this method to allow Long Chen to see the complete Zuanshan catalog. It's up to him whether or not he can grasp anything, said the Zuan master. The Zuanshan catalog is an immortal canon that we have to translate into a simpler form for the disciples before we teach it to them. And those who can comprehend it are as rare as a phoenix feather or a unicorn horn. As for the most original Zuanshan catalog, let alone Long Chen, even those like Liu Kang and Luo Fan wouldn't be able to see anything from it with just 10 days said that ancient voice. Of course I know that, but I still feel like there are secrets we don't know about Long Chen. Perhaps those secrets are the things Long Chen relies on the most. I'm testing him like this. If he can comprehend anything from the Zuanshan catalog, perhaps I'll change my plans, said the Zuan master. 
Decide for yourself. In any case, I've handed the Deosect to you. If you're so confident, I can focus completely on breaking through. Master, how assured do you feel this time? The Zuan Master's expression became slightly grave. I guess 30%. After all, those who succeed in Nether Passage are few and far between after the Immortal Era. After a moment's hesitation, he continued, If I fail, you don't need to be burdened. You can be free. The Zuan Master shook his head. I don't feel like you gave me a burden. I just feel like you were too conservative. Continuing like this isn't beneficial to the Zuanshan Deo sect's development. All right, let's not talk about these things. I'm going into seclusion, and I won't be coming out until I break through. I don't want to think about these troublesome things. Wait, what? What is Long Chen doing? The ancient voice suddenly became full of shock. The Zuan master also looked at the wall. He saw Long Chen had taken out gold coins and was giving them one by one to the ghosts. He didn't know whether to laugh or cry. This rotten brat, he dares to even buy them? These ghosts have a certain spirituality, and they've seen the Hall Masters comprehend the Zhuangshan catalog. Looking at Long Chen's expression, he definitely obtained some useful information, said the Zuan Master helplessly. Thank you all, you can go back. I'm going to go comprehend this thing. Long Chen distributed several hundred gold coins to the ghosts. He was full of excitement, so each line can be comprehended with the soul to grasp it. It's indistinct and unfathomable just like the heavenly deos. This was what Long Chen had concluded through the countless clues the ghosts had told him. He took a deep breath and expelled his random thoughts. Focusing completely, he placed all his attention on one of the lines of the symbol. When his mind sank into that line, the line suddenly unleashed a burst of light. The Zuan master's expression changed. The Zuanshan catalog was not something just any disciple could comprehend, especially not the original Zuanshan catalog. Normally, disciples would first have to gradually cultivate one of the Deo paths of the Zuanshan catalog. Once their comprehension of that Deo path was enough, then under their teacher's guidance, they would come to learn which line of the Zuanshan catalog referred to their Deo path. This process would take several years for even geniuses, and to form a resonance with the Zuanshan catalog like this would take decades to centuries. In the Zuanshan Deo sect, amongst the thousands of elders, there were only a few dozen who could form a resonance with the Zuanshan catalog, and even those elders would require a few hours to start that resonance. But Long Chen had succeeded in resonating with the first line in just a few breaths. There were a total of 36,000 lines in the Zuanshan catalog, which referred to 36,000 types of cultivation. It encompassed tens of thousands of laws and deos. It was wide-ranging and profound, a secret canon of the immortal era. The Zuanshan deo sect's inheritance was based on it. Once Long Chen chose a line, he encountered a strange space. This space was filled with countless revolving runes. At the same time, he saw a scene in front of him. There was a maiden playing a zither, and its sound was like stones falling into a clear spring. It was refreshing, cleaning the mind and soul. This line is the music deo. You want a manly man like me to play the zither. Long Chen retreated from that strange space with just a thought, once more choosing a new line. This time, he entered a desert. Sand blew through the air, covering the sun. Long Chen was lost for a while before he realized this was an extremely rare style amongst earth cultivators. Sand cultivators. The sand was like a furious dragon roaring toward the sky. This is also not suitable for me. Long Chen once more retreated and chose a new line. This time, he entered a space filled with flying snow and countless ice stalactites soaring out of the ground. This was the ice deo, also not what he wanted. He tried several lines and each time, he would leave after just a few breaths. That made the Zuan master speechless. Master, do you have any opinion? He asked after a long moment. It's very likely due to his cultivation technique. It might be on an even higher level than the Zuanshan catalog, making it so the Zuanshan catalog cannot hide any of its Deo paths. The two of them descended into silence. That was too shocking. It had to be known that the Zuanshan catalog's Deo paths were all shockingly profound. A genius might spend a lifetime studying it and not even comprehend a tenth. Furthermore, each Deo path required a disciple to have the right qualifications to reveal itself to them. Only ice attribute disciples could open the corresponding Deo paths. It was like a key opening a lock. But now, Long Chen was opening each Deo path one after another, shocking both the Zuan master and his master. Originally, the Zuan Master had just been wanting to see if Long Chen could cause a resonance with the Zuanshan catalog and find his corresponding Deo path, but he hadn't thought that Long Chen didn't need such luck. 
He could go through all of them as he pleased. It was too shocking. Long Chen went through many Dao paths without finding one that suited him. Either it was useless or he wasn't able to cultivate it. Finally, he entered a space filled with roaring flames. Finally, I've found this place. Long Chen was delighted. This space was definitely the place to comprehend the flame Dao. Although he had his pill god memories, they were very incomplete. His ways to circulate flames were limited to alchemy techniques, and there was basically nothing about fighting. The flame Dao here was perfectly suited to him. The flame Dao was not the pill Dao. The flames here were used for combat, just what he needed. He immediately sat lotus style within the flames. Those flames were formed of the Dao path, and from it, he could sense many things that he had overlooked before. Fighting with flames was different from using flames for alchemy. It was pure flames without the slightest wood spiritual energy. Such flames were even more berserk and much more powerful. But because Huo Long had always been helping him to refine pills, it had formed a resonance with his trace of wood spiritual energy. As a result, it was no exception even when fighting. Now when he thought about that, he felt he really was stupid. If he extracted that wood spiritual energy, Huo Long's power would become even greater in combat. Within this strange space, the flames were constantly changing, and there were also various flame runes revolving. Long Chen randomly reached out to grab one. That flame rune exploded violently, shooting out flame arrows at Long Chen. Long Chen jumped in shock and hastily dodged, but some flame arrows were still shooting toward him. He hastily took out Bloodrinker. Those flame arrows caused his arm to turn numb when he blocked them. Long Chen was shocked by how powerful this flame attack was. After the explosion of flame arrows was over, they transformed back into the exact same rune as before. Could it be? Is every rune here a flame magical art? Long Chen looked at the various runes floating in the air with absolute delight. I've definitely struck gold now. Long Chen arrived in front of that rune and once more grabbed it. The rune instantly exploded. But this time, he sensed the way and the rules of how the flames had circulated and how the energy was accumulated before erupting. So that's what it was. Bloodrinker blew apart the rain of flames. He had finally realized the secrets of this place. Each of these runes was a magical art's most primal rune. When activated, it would display the principles behind it. However, it would only display it for an instant, and without intentionally paying attention, it was very difficult to remember it. However, it wasn't able to pose a problem for someone with spiritual strength as strong as Long Chen's. After two tests, he had memorized its principles. He took a deep breath and formed hand seals. A translucent rune condensed over his palm. Meteor rain of arrows. Once that rune was formed, he involuntarily shouted its name. Following that, a huge ball of flames condensed above his head, and then countless flame arrows shot out. Each flame arrow caused a huge explosion upon striking the ground. Even Long Chen was shocked by its power. That had just been a small test. Because he had just learned it, he had been afraid of a backlash and only used a small amount of flame energy. He hadn't expected it to have such a terrifying effect. The Zhuangshan catalog is truly worthy of being one of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's core treasures. No good. I can't be this excited. I have to quickly learn all of this. Why was I only imprisoned for 10 days? It should have been at least a month. Long Chen reached his hand out to the next rune. Chapter 1077 Terrifying Rune Translator Born to be Long Chen repeatedly grabbed seven runes, learning seven different flame magical arts. There were defensive ones, offensive ones, single target ones, and large area ones. This made Long Chen ecstatic. He had his pill god memories, which made him a pro at controlling flames. Cultivating flame magical arts was as easy as eating food to him. Furthermore, these magical arts were so powerful that they surpassed his expectations. His flagging confidence once more increased. The nine-star hegemon body arts fifth pill formula still hadn't come to him. Therefore, he had no way of condensing the fifth star and was stuck at the fourth star. Once he had arrived at the central plains, he found that his trump cards were far from enough. Although the third form of split the heavens divine runes had been fully condensed, raising its power to a shocking point, it was too exhausting, and he was unable to instantly unleash it like the first and second forms. Against an opponent around the same level as him, unleashing it would be extremely difficult. But now it was different. He had learned many flame magical arts and was capable of attacking and defending. He would no longer have to always fight head on. Raging flames devour the heavens. Long Chen formed hand seals, and flames erupted out of him, filling the entire world. Damn, what a huge attack area, and what supreme density. 
However, it's also exhausting. He, but once Huo Long and I work together, with my ocean's worth of spiritual yuan, we should be able to keep it up for a long time. Long Chen laughed wickedly. There were actually many magical arts named something along the lines of raging flames devour the heavens, but they weren't magical arts that could really devour the heavens. Long Chen's estimate was that if he went all out with it, the flame domain would cover 300 miles, compared to those magical arts only capable of covering a range of a few hundred meters. This was truly devouring the heavens. Furthermore, he had noticed a secret. The runes here with a darker color were stronger. For example, this raging flames devour the heavens was a dark red. After learning it, he didn't bother with the ordinary runes any longer. He searched for a dark rune again. This strange space seemed to have no end, like the starry sky. As he swam through this space, countless runes flew by him. Long Chen was shocked to see so many magical arts. These were all flame-related. The Zhuangshan catalog was terrifying. It was no wonder there were so many disciples in the Zhuangshan Dao sect, and why it was all-encompassing. It was due to the Zhuangshan catalog. Haha, <laughs> another powerful rune. Long Chen suddenly saw another dark red rune. Its color was the same as the raging flames devour the heavens. He was just about to touch it when he suddenly saw a rune that was an even darker color. It was blood red. And its bright color was dazzling to the eye. That one's definitely even more badass. Long Chen charged over to it. On the way to the rune, his heart skipped a beat. This rune was definitely a supremely powerful magical art. Just as he was about to touch it, his eye suddenly narrowed. Just a bit further than this rune was another rune that was even darker red. It was practically turning violet. Furthermore, the space around it was shuddering. Seeing that rune, Long Chen's heart stopped beating. That's definitely a priceless treasure. A greedy roar came from the depths of Long Chen's soul. His see a treasure and can't walk away disease once more erupted out of his control. Long Chen didn't even know how he had arrived in front of that rune. When he was right in front of it, his hair stood on end. He sensed a terrifying destructive aura within this rune. It was like a volcano on the verge of exploding. Once touched, it could destroy heaven and earth. I wouldn't die from this, right? Long Chen was uncertain now. He sensed a fatal danger that was too terrifying. This is the Zhuangshan catalog, a place for disciples to cultivate. There shouldn't be any danger. Long Chen carefully extended a finger. At the same time, he summoned the green dragon battle armor, raising his defense as high as possible. The tip of his finger touched the violet red rune. Buzz. Crap. Long Chen's expression completely changed, and he hastily retreated. But it was too late. The violet red rune transformed into a ball which then exploded. Long Chen was struck by its shock waves, and he felt like his body was about to be instantly torn apart. In fact, he seemed to be able to see his body being blown to bits. I died. Long Chen let out a startled cry as the space before him disappeared. He returned to within the ghost prison. He panted for breath. His clothes were drenched in sweat and his face was pale. A wave of weakness washed over him, almost causing him to collapse. Fuck, that was too realistic. I really thought I was dead. Long Chen sighed and wiped off some cold sweat. He took out another gold coin. Who can tell me how many days it has been? Long Chen quickly learned the reply. It was already the eighth day, so he only had two days left. Time's tight. Long Chen took a deep breath and once more found that line. His mind sank into it again and he returned to the world of flames. Now he realized that this was not his true self. Although he could use blood drinker and magical arts here, he had lost his connection to the primal chaos bead. His guess was that the Zhuangshan catalog had replicated his body, but it was unable to replicate the primal chaos bead. That made him feel like he was here in his true body. That feeling of being killed just now had been too realistic. Even though he hadn't died, he felt like he had half died. When he once more arrived in front of the violet red rune, he completely focused himself. He slowly reached a finger toward it. Once more there was an explosion, and he was blown apart again. He returned to within the ghost prison, covered in sweat. The feeling of death really isn't good. Long Chen took a deep breath and charged back into that space, once more touching the violet red rune. The violet red rune only expressed the principles behind it for a thousandth of the blink of an eye right before exploding. It happened so fast that even Long Chen was unable to grasp it Novaloon.com Furthermore, there was also the fear of death. Even knowing that this was an illusion, it was too realistic, and anyone would find it hard to overcome their nervousness at dying once more. Boom. Long Chen was once more killed. But this time, he didn't reappear in the ghost prison, but inside a large and tidy room. Adoparag, 
There was a simple table with a few cups of tea on it. The Zuan master was currently leisurely drinking some tea. Long Chen wiped off some sweat and walked right over to the table. Sitting on his butt, he poured a cup of tea for himself and swallowed it in one gulp. Just one cup wasn't enough, and he drank three cups before feeling slightly better. Sensing there were also some refreshments on the table, he didn't stand on courtesy and directly stuffed his mouth. Seeing Long Chen acting like this was his home, the Zuan master was speechless. Just how taut had his nerves been for him to act so unbridled? He was the sect master, but Long Chen didn't act the slightest bit restrained in front of him. He had never seen such a disciple, nor had he ever heard of one. How moving, to eat and drink to prove I am alive. Long Chen sighed deeply with a joyful expression. The Zuan master didn't mind Long Chen's lack of courtesy. In reality, he was shocked by Long Chen's perseverance. The feeling of dying in the Zuanchen catalog was so realistic that it caused people to easily crumble. In just one day, Long Chen experienced what it felt like to die hundreds of times. Any disciple would go insane after just experiencing it for a few times. That meant Long Chen's willpower had reached a shocking level. How were your gains? Asked the Zuan master with a smile. Long Chen hastily stood up and bowed toward him, respectfully saying, Many thanks for your help, Zuan master. The Zuan master shook his head. This was just an opportunity. What you obtained was all thanks to yourself. Can disciple gain another opportunity to comprehend the Zuanchen catalog? Asked Long Chen carefully. Even if you kill Fan Song and Hu Gishan, I won't give you this kind of punishment, said the Zuan master. Long Chen immediately felt embarrassed. He hastily said, Disciples' willfulness has brought you trouble. Whether or not you caused trouble isn't important. Rules are always biased toward the strong. If you weren't of benefit to the Zuanchen Dao sect, you might already be dead, said the Zuan master directly. Long Chen smiled slightly. Disciple understands. I'm not someone to forget favors. The Zuan Master nodded. There was no need for him to beat around the bush with someone like Long Chen. Leave Fan Song and Hu Gishan alive for me. I have some use for them. Long Chen was startled. He didn't quite understand what the Zuan Master was saying. On the surface, he just meant that Long Chen shouldn't kill the two of them. Disciple understands. Long Chen didn't dare to ask too many questions. This time, the Infernal Devil Abyss's disturbance is very out of the ordinary. It might continue like this for a while and Jade Core experts are unable to enter. So the Infernal Devil Abyss's defenses are mostly up to you younger disciples. There is a time and place for internal battles, but this is not it. The reason the Deo sect gives you so many points for defending it is because it doesn't want to activate the stronghold's defenses. That uses up far too many resources. So Long Chen, be aware of what is important and what is not, warned the Zuan Master. Don't worry, disciple will remember your favor. I'll try not to drown you in trouble, said Long Chen. But he only said he would try. If those two idiots did something to make his fury go out of his control, even he didn't know what he might do. Ah, Zuan Master, can disciple ask you a few questions? Asked Long Chen suddenly. Go ahead. Where do those devil beasts keep coming from? Infernal Devil Abyss. Is there really such a thing as hell? Asked Long Chen cautiously. Chapter 1078 The Zuan Master's Promise Translator Born to be the so-called hell set in stories is just a name. In reality, it is a spatial crevice between two worlds. It is the crossing zone between the martial heaven continent and the netherworld. Some creatures that die will have their souls drawn into the netherworld. The Zuan master suddenly shut his mouth when he reached this point. I can't tell you too much right now. With your current power, touching the heavenly deos too early will draw karma for you. Long Chen's heart shook. The netherworld? Wasn't that a place of stories? Where souls went after a person died? The devil beasts you fight in the infernal devil abyss are life forms that exist in the crevice between two worlds. The martial heaven continent actually has countless spatial channels. The various large powers are all guarding those channels secretly. So although this world seems very peaceful, in reality, there is a great deal of internal trouble and external enemies. Fortunately, the devil beasts that come from there have a trace of Yuan spiritual energy in their crystal cores. We can purify them to help foundation forging disciples cultivate. Once you kill the devil beasts, people will come to clean up the battlefield and gather their crystal cores. They'll give them to the sect to be refined, and a portion of them will be available for sale to foundation forging disciples, while a portion will be put out for sale to other sects. It can be said that defending the infernal devil abyss has its drawbacks and advantages. It is a responsibility and a burden, but also good work. Disciple understands. Zuan Master, 
Can disciple brazenly ask you something, said Long Chen after a long moment of hesitation. For even you to say that it's brazen, it seems it must not be small. Ask, said the Zuan master, involuntarily laughing. For Long Chen to say he was about to do something brazen was almost a joke. Long Chen couldn't help being embarrassed, but he thickened his skin and said, Forgive disciple for his rudeness, but I want to know, if someone covets my secrets in the Dao sect, will you, the Zuan master, come out and protect me? Although he didn't know what this Zuan master was thinking, he could sense his good intentions. The nine-star hegemon body art definitely wouldn't make such a mistake. However, even if he had good intentions, Long Chen needed a promise from him. Otherwise, he would have no confidence in an existence that he couldn't comprehend. People like him schemed so deeply. Long Chen was too lazy to do the same thing. The Zuan master smiled. Don't worry, as long as the Dao sect is within your heart and you don't betray the sect, then let alone someone in the Zuanchen Dao sect. Even if someone in the martial heaven continent dares to touch you, I will help. Many thanks. Zuan master, Long Chen was delighted, and he respectfully bowed. For the Zuan master to say that he would personally help meant that even if the Zuanchen Dao sect was unable to help him in name due to its politics, the Zuan master himself would come out. That was what made him the most grateful, as well as what raised his confidence the most. This was the thing that had made him the happiest since arriving in the central plains. He immediately felt much more assured. Zuan Master, I have two brothers and a lover. They are still in the Zuanchen catalog comprehending their Dao paths. The Zuanchen catalog is actually a transformed portion of the heavenly Daos. A person will only get one chance to comprehend the Zuanchen catalog in their lifetime. They are searching for their own inheritances within the Zuanchen catalog. It is an immense opportunity. But once they come out, they won't be able to go back in. Most people are unable to enter the actual catalog when comprehending it, but you repeatedly entered over and over. Now, your fate with it has come to an end. It's not that I don't want to allow you to enter again, but that you can't, explained the Zuan master. Only now did Long Chen understand that things in the Zuanchen catalog weren't as simple as he had thought. He couldn't help but feel regretful that he hadn't obtained any lightning inheritance. Seeing that there was nothing more to ask, he bid farewell to the Zuan master and left. When he left his door, he realized he was in the inner sect plaza. He didn't even know where the Zuan master's private room was. When he appeared in the plaza, all the people there jumped in fright. Long Chen ignored those people and returned directly to Crouching Dragon Mountain. Once he was there, all of Crouching Dragon Mountain erupted into wild cheering. Only then did Long Chen learn that the Dragonblood Legion had taken first place in the competition. Each ninth rank Devil Beast was equivalent to 10 million points which shocked Long Chen. The ninth rank Devil Beasts he had killed had added up to 400 million points. Adding on the Devil Beasts slain by others, they almost reached 600 million and placed first. Second place was the Heaven Female Alliance. They had half their number of points. The reason they had taken second was all because of Long Chen. He had killed quite a few of the top experts of the Flame Gate, Divine Beast Mansion, and Hegemon Hall. Once they were killed, the points they had earned were gone as well. Third place was the 10,000 Insect Guild. Fourth was the Divine Beast Mansion. Fifth was the Hegemon Hall. And last was the Flame Gate. The Flame Gate's leader, Xinian, had been killed by Long Chen. The Flame Gate had disbanded, which caused all its disciples to be dumbfounded. They didn't know what to do, other than the Dragonblood Legion, Heaven Female Alliance, and 10,000 Insect Guild. Everyone else was full of worry. This time, Long Chen had been too vicious. He had completely crippled the other three factions. Now, the Dragonblood Legion's name was soaring, and Long Chen's name shook the entire Zhuangshan Dao sect. Countless people had heard of how he had repeatedly killed six rank five celestials on the battlefield, but they didn't dare to believe it. But after accumulating a mass of proof, they were forced to believe it. Now that Long Chen had returned to Crouching Dragon Mountain after ten days, it caused an uproar in the entire sect. Even Hua Shiyu and Wang Shen came over to celebrate. Hua Shiyu also brought her sincere thanks. If it hadn't been for the Dragonblood Legion's help, her Heaven Female Alliance's losses would have been even more appalling. When Hua Shiyu led her Heaven Female Alliance to Crouching Dragon Mountain, it evoked passionate cheering from the Dragonblood Legion. The Heaven Female Alliance received the warmest welcome possible. Long Chen had Guo Ran arrange a grand bonfire party, and he also had Wang Shen call over his disciples for the fun. Wang Shen was a man of few words but he actually wasn't antisocial. He directly brought all his people over to party. 
They had so many points that they bought all the best wine and food. In the Zhuangshan Dao sect, as long as you had points, you could get anything. Tens of thousands of men and women drank and ate, laughed and talked. It was exceptionally lively. They were no longer as foreign or cold as when they had first joined the sect Long Chen. I, Hua Shiaya was profoundly grateful. I like to be straightforward, so you don't need to keep thanking me. Long Chen knew what she was about to say. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors do what they want. Even if the same thing happened again, even if they knew the results, they would make the same choice. So you don't need to feel bad. Their choice was right, and even if they fell, they've passed their aspirations and dreams to their living brothers. We'll bring their dreams forward for them. Long Chen offered a bowl of wine to Hua Shiaya while raising one of his own. Hua Shiaya nodded, but she hesitated for a long while when she looked at that wine. In the end, she took a sip, and as a result, her face immediately turned red. She clearly had no alcohol tolerance. Brother Long, let me offer you a bowl as well. I, Wang Zhen, have never admired anyone, but when it comes to you, I can't not admire you. Wang Zhen also raised his cup. Drink, drink. Long Chen touched his bowl to Wang hands. This wine contained great medicinal energy. It was a kind of medicinal wine, and the best kind at that. It was greatly beneficial to cultivators, and it cost a hundred points just for one bottle. If they weren't rich, no one could afford to drink it. Brother Wang Zhen, you're too modest. If you went all out, then perhaps there would be no one amongst all the disciples capable of beating you, said Long Chen. Wang Zhen was startled. Brother Long, what are you talking about? Long Chen smiled. Although I'm not an insect cultivator, I know the small insects you've summoned are just the troops. Your true trump card should be the mother insect you're raising. We've all exposed our trump cards, but you've never revealed yours. That means you're the strongest amongst us. Due to this, let me offer you another drink. Hua Shiaya was startled. She hadn't even thought of that. But as soon as Long Chen said it, she looked from Wang Zhen in shock to Long Chen with admiration. Wang Zhen had truly hidden himself well. Brother Long, you must not know this. While I do have a mother insect, I cannot use it until the point of no return. The mother insect is something I raised from the moment it was born, and it is connected to my soul. Although it is powerful, once injured, I will also have to pay a great price. Most importantly, if it dies, I would die with it. Although I have this trump card, I can't use it. So it's no different from not having a trump card. Wang Zhen bitterly smiled. Beside Long Chen, Tang Wanerer said, So it's your final trump card? Then it must be extremely terrifying. It was unknown if it was due to his expert's pride or because he had drunk too much wine. But Wang Zhen said, If I truly summoned the mother insect, those devil beasts we encountered would have all been annihilated. But after that, I would be in trouble. At the very least, I would be bedridden for half a year to a year. Even a rank 4 celestial would be able to crush me then. His prideful expression turned bitter toward the end. Having a powerful trump card but not being able to use it was even more painful than not having a trump card. Long Chen wasn't in the habit of asking people for their secrets. So he changed the subject. They drank all the way until the sun rose once more before they finally scattered, wishing they could continue. After a true life and death battle, people would realize things they hadn't before. When they thought about the value of their lives, fighting and scheming against each other seemed like such senseless games. After this night of drinking, the three factions experts had formed much better relationships. When the Heaven Female Alliance and 10,000 Insect Guild left, Long Chen summoned all the warriors of the Dragonblood Legion. He had an extremely important matter to announce. Chapter 1079 Iron Spruce Oak Translator Born to be all the Dragon Mark warriors were gathered. The gathering point was Crouching Dragon Mountain's personal training room. Gu Yang, Tang Wanur, Guo Ran, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan were all sent to the entrance as guards. No one could enter. This room had been completely sealed. The Dragonblood Legion's members had never seen Long Chen so solemn before. Once everything was prepared, and confirming there was nothing they had overlooked, Long Chen took out a large pile of fruit and distributed it. The Dragon Mark warriors stared blankly at the fruit. They didn't understand what he was doing. They didn't know that what Long Chen was distributing to them were rank 4 Heavenly Dao fruits. In the Eastern Wasteland, he had given all his Heavenly Dao fruits to Yu Ziaokian. These Heavenly Dao fruits were new ones that had just grown. This was the Primal Chaos Bead's terrifying ability. As his cultivation base increased, any Celestials that died beside Long Chen would have their Heavenly Dao energy absorbed by the Primal Chaos Space's Heavenly Dao tree. 
He had over 10,000 rank 4 heavenly Dao fruits. Long Chen had been hesitating over this for a while now. There were over 10,000 dragon mark warriors, all who were rank 3 celestials at the strongest, and some who were still rank 2. For them to all become rank 4 celestials overnight was far too exaggerated, and people would definitely investigate. Then his heaven defying ability to create celestials would be exposed. Countless people would set their gazes on him, which was an extremely dangerous situation. But there had been such a huge accident in the competition this time. Over a dozen dragon mark warriors had sacrificed themselves. That made Long Chen feel some guilt. If he could have distributed the heavenly day of fruits earlier, perhaps those people wouldn't have died. So after their deaths, he had decided to stop holding back. But then he had been immediately sent to the ghost prison. Now he had obtained the Zuan master's promise. And he was even more sure. He would bring all the Dragon Blood Legion's warriors to the fourth rank. Today's matter must be kept completely secret. Long Chen only spoke a simple warning before leaving. The Dragon Mark warriors didn't understand. But the Dragon Blood warriors had already started devouring their heavenly Dao fruits and refining their energy. The Dragon Mark warriors uncomprehendingly consumed their heavenly Dao fruits. Following that, expressions of disbelief appeared. Long Chen called over Tang Wan'er and the others, taking out rank 5 heavenly Dao fruits. Seeing those, Gu Yang and the others had excited expressions. If they could also become rank 5 celestials, they would be on the same level as Hu Gishan and Fan Song. Boss, I don't need it. Becoming a rank 5 celestial isn't that useful to me, said Guo Ran. Long Chen smiled slightly and patted Guo Ran on the shoulder. This little fellow was at least growing more thoughtful. Then, I don't need mine either. It's not that useful, said Li Qi. As a result, the others all said that they didn't need theirs. Long Chen smiled and said, It's fine, just take them. The six heavenly Dao fruits I have are exactly perfect. There are five of you here, and the remaining one is perfect for Men Qi. Ziffen walks the sword Dao and doesn't want to rely on heavenly Dao energy to cultivate, while Wild also does not walk the ordinary path. These six are perfect. Ah, then I won't stand on courtesy. To tell the truth, a rank 5 celestial is really eye-catching. I've wanted such a thing for a long time. Guo Ran laughed mischievously. A wretched smile appeared on his face. The others were also at ease to hear this and consumed their fruit. They were filled with a grand feeling. Now, who in the Zhuanshan Dao sect would dare to block their growth? Once Tang Wan'er and the others entered seclusion as well, he guarded the outside on his own. He closed his eyes and slowly formed a hand seal. But he hadn't even finished forming the hand seal before he coughed up a mouthful of blood. Fuck. Just what magical art was that final rune? Why does it cause such a huge backlash? Long Chen cursed. He had experienced the pain of dying so many times to finally remember how to use the magical art. But as soon as he tried circulating his flames according to the technique, he felt like his body would explode. Even his previous injuries were affected. This is no good. I need some stronger trees, or it'll be too difficult for me to heal next time, sighed Long Chen. Last time, the powerful backlash of pushing the raging flame prison too far had caused an intense injury, and then he had forcibly suppressed his injuries to kill Xinian and the others. He had even used the third form of split the heavens twice. It had been especially dangerous when he had been attacked by a rank 6 foundation forging celestial. Those injuries had caused his body to almost break down. The heavenly Dao energy in his injuries made it difficult for him to heal. Even after this many days, his healing was extremely slow. He was too weak, and there was no way for him to train in such a terrifying magical art. I have to think of something. Three days later, some dragon blood warriors finally came out of seclusion. Having advanced to the fourth rank, they felt like they had completely transformed and were full of excitement. Long Chen had those disciples guard the others. No one was permitted to approach this place. After that, he went directly to Treasure Gem Island. As soon as he arrived, he caused a huge uproar. Long Chen ignored those people and went straight to the 10,000 Pill Hall. Once he arrived, he saw the same maiden he had seen last time. You, your senior apprentice brother Long Chen. The maiden was shocked. He, now that Luo Bo's been expelled, it seems you have it much better here. Long Chen saw that her robes were a bit different. There were some threads of gold in her collar and sleeves. He didn't know the details. But she had definitely been promoted. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Do you need anything? After a moment of stunned shock. She quickly calmed down. Long Chen smiled. As expected. After just being promoted. A person would become much more cautious. 
She didn't even mention what had happened last time. Let me see a list of what tree seeds you have, said Long Chen directly. Please wait a moment. She quickly found a thick tome and handed it to Long Chen with both hands. Long Chen went through it. This tome recorded the seeds of medicinal ingredients they had and was ordered from low to high. But the number of tree seeds that could be used as medicine was not high. Furthermore, even fewer of them were those that could grow to a great height. Long Chen had no way around that. As long as there was a chance, he had to take it. He had no time to go looking for trees. Iron Spruce Oak. Long Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. The Iron Spruce Oak was an extremely large tree. It contained a kind of bitter spirit essence that made it a supplementary ingredient in some 8th tier medicinal pills. It wasn't particularly precious and was just 200 points. However, he knew that it could grow to become 10,000 meters tall, while its main trunk would become thick and solid. Most importantly, its wood was hard like iron, and its tree heart could be used to refine treasure class bows. The other thing was that it grew extremely slowly. It would take tens or even hundreds of thousands of years to fully mature. That was what Long Chen cared about the most. His experience was that the harder the wood and the longer it took to mature, the more life energy it could store. Give me ten of these. Long Chen took out his crystal card, and someone quickly came over with a jade case. Long Chen had just touched it when a large hand grabbed it. Long Chen looked up to see someone wearing elder robes. At some unknown time, he had appeared behind the maiden and grabbed the jade case. They still haven't learned their lesson? Blood-colored light flashed at that elder's neck. He hastily shot back in shock. Although he had reacted timely, a line of blood still appeared on his neck. That was the injury from the tip of Long Chen's saber. If it hadn't been for his quick reactions, his head would have been removed from his body. The maidens in this room all let out startled cries. They hadn't expected Long Chen to almost kill an elder just now. How brazen Long Chen. You roared the elder. Shut up. Have you forgotten what happened to Luo Bo? If you want to play with me, I'll play you to death. Long Chen grabbed the case. The reason he had paid first was precisely to avoid what had happened last time. But he hadn't expected it to really happen. The elder was clearly from the alchemy pavilion. Although he didn't know what excuse he had to make things hard on him. He had already paid. So that case was his. Whoever tried to take it was whoever would be hacked by his saber. Now Long Chen had learned how to play this game. Even if that elder's cries drew out the guards here. Long Chen had a leg to stand on. If someone wanted to take what was his, wasn't he allowed to act in self-defense? You. The elder's expression was exceedingly ugly. What you? I'm warning you. If you want to reincarnate, you can become enemies with me. Miss. Can you hand my crystal card back to me? Long Chen turned to the maiden. Only then did she recover from her shock and pass it back to Long Chen. Taking it, Long Chen left without even looking at the elder. As expected, that person didn't cry for reinforcements or make the matter public. Long Chen returned directly to Crouching Dragon Mountain. After he arrived, he planted the iron spruce oak seeds in the primal chaos space and began circulating the primal chaos bead. The ten seedlings began to crazily grow. One meter, ten meters, a hundred meters. When the iron spruce oaks grew to fifteen hundred meters, Long Chen extracted the life energy from one of them. He found that just this 1500 meter iron spruce oak contained as much energy as the fully grown trees he had obtained from the spirit world. He directly removed all those trees and crazily planted the iron spruce oaks, planting them with set distances between them. He filled the primal chaos space. But once the primal chaos space was filled with these new seedlings, the speed at which they grew sharply dropped. He, all the stock I saved up back then finally has a use. Long Chen took out huge corpses from his spatial ring. Tossing them into the black soil. Chapter 1080 Shock Translator. Born to be when crossing the martial heaven sea ring. Long Chen had obtained a huge pile of sea demon corpses. Now they finally had a use. He tossed them into the black soil. Like snow falling on lava. They rapidly dissolved. Endless life energy spread through the primal chaos space. As the iron spruce oaks crazily grew. Long Chen continuously tossed the sea demon corpses into the black soil as fertilizer. In less than an incense stick's time, the empty primal chaos space became filled with soaring iron spruce oaks. Each one of them had reached a height of 300 meters. In two hours, they had grown to 3,000 meters. Once Long Chen had used up all the corpses, they had grown to around 6,000 meters. At this moment, the life energy contained within them was over 10 times what his old trees had been able to contain. Not only did they have much stronger life energy, but also in terms of quality. They were dozens of times greater. 
He had made the right choice in choosing the iron spruce oaks. Just quantity wasn't enough to heal him in Long Chen's experience. That was especially true when the injury came from a rank 6 celestial's attack. The heavenly Dao energy made his old trees completely ineffective. Now as he slowly extracted life energy from the iron spruce oaks, the results were practically miraculous. In just a few breaths, all his injuries were fully healed. As for the iron spruce oaks, they had only turned a bit listless. There were no signs of them withering. That delighted Long Chen. Right now, they had only grown to 6,000 meters. Once they were fully matured and reached a height of 10,000 meters, the life energy within them would be 10 times greater. Regretfully, it took too long to grow them. He had tossed in a mountain of corpses to nourish the trees, but they still hadn't reached their full maturity. He would have to think of something in the future. After healing, he found a training room for himself. This training room wasn't for cultivating, but for training in a magical art and testing the magical art's power. This training room was of higher quality than a cultivation training room. Of course, the price was also greater. Long Chen was using the highest price training room, and it cost 10,000 points for a day. The training room had all kinds of puppets inside. They were created by the Zhuangshan Dao sect for its disciples. These puppets were used as targets to allow the disciples to test their power. They were split into sea expansion and foundation forging levels. A disciple renting this room would be given 10 sea expansion puppets and 2 foundation forging puppets for training purposes. But Long Chen tossed aside all those puppets and spent another 10,000 points to buy 10 jade core puppets. These puppets were very powerful, and when attacked, they would automatically activate their defenses. They were so strong that they should be able to receive a full strength attack from an average jade core expert. Long Chen slowly formed hand seals. After the seventh hand seal, his left hand held his right elbow. His left hand's fingers changed color, like iron that was being heated, eventually turning semi-transparent. It was even possible to see energy slowly going through the five fingers into his right hand. At the center of his right hand, a sesame seed-sized flame crystal slowly formed. As soon as that crystal core appeared, its terrifying heat incinerated almost everything in the training room. Even the distant sea expansion puppets were starting to melt. The crystal began to slowly revolve and as it did, flame energy wrapped around it. Its irregular body began to become round and spherical. A layer of flame energy covered the crystal. Now, it was the size of a soybean. At this moment, the foundation forging puppets had runes come out of them and form a light barrier. The terrifying heat had activated their defenses. However, even with their defenses, in just a few breaths, the foundation forging puppets also began to melt. This training room has isolated quite a bit of flame energy allowing me to control it easier. It was worth the price. Long Chen was delighted to see this. If he had tried using this move in the outside world, its effects would be too dangerous. It was the right choice to have come here. The training room blocked a portion of heaven and earth's flame energy, making it easier for him to control the magical art. He didn't need to be so worried. This was the final move he had learned in the Zhuanshan catalog. He had studied it and run simulations before, but he hadn't dared to try using it but even just testing some of its aspects had been dangerous. He had been injured by the terrifying heat several times. This move was very complicated. It required spreading flame energy throughout 108 meridians, and then recombining them into two flows of energy. Those 108 streams of energy required a set order and technique. No two streams could touch. It was like circulating 108 streams of energy at the same time. And most difficult of all, at the same time as he condensed his right hand's energy, he had to control the output of his left hand's energy. The 108 streams of energy all went through the left hand into the right hand. The process required the 108 streams of energy to maintain certain speeds. It couldn't be too fast or slow. The slightest mistake would cause the crystal to explode. Furthermore, this was just the energy he was controlling in his body. He also had to control the energy in the air. Even Long Chen. Someone who could boast to be unrevealed when it came to controlling flames, felt like he was walking on thin ice right now. If this crystal exploded in his hand, if he didn't immediately die a horrible death, he would at least lose half his body. But through his meticulous control, the 108 streams of energy entered his hand at a set pace. The crystal grew to the size of a longan fruit. That's about enough. For the first time, just pulling off this move would count as a success. Safety first. Although Long Chen felt like he could still continue, he felt like holding back a bit for his first try was best. Taking a deep breath, he cut off the energy. 
In that instant, the crystal suddenly unleashed blazing rays of light, seeming to come to life. Long Chen hastily tossed it out and involuntarily shouted a name, Starfall. The small crystal was like a shooting star flying at the Jade Core puppets. Those puppets had long since had their defensive runes activate to form a runic shield. Boom. A huge explosion rocked the training room, and a terrifying energy erupted. Not good. Without hesitation, Long Chen summoned the Green Dragon Battle Armor. He had just summoned it when he felt like a mountain smashed into him, and he shot back. In the end, he felt a burst of pain from his back. He even heard his own bones breaking as he smashed into the wall of the training room. Now he also experienced what it felt like to be smashed into flat bread. Was this karma? Long Chen clearly felt that his body had been flattened. There were only a few parts of his bones that were still intact. He tore himself from the wall. The wall was completely undamaged by the explosion or the collision. It was no wonder the Zhuanshan Dao sect allowed its disciples to unleash huge moves inside. Circulating the primal chaos bead. His injuries instantly healed. Then he looked at the Jade Core puppets and saw they had been blown apart. There was nothing left of them. Damn. What a terrifying attack. This attack was something that could instantly kill kings. Long Chen hadn't expected this move to be so terrifying. It had to be known that he had only just learned it. So it was still in an embryonic form. Furthermore, he had intentionally reduced the power to be safe. Unfortunately, it's not too useful as it takes too long to use. Would any king really just stand there while I unleashed it? Long Chen couldn't help but feel a bit helpless. It took three breaths time to use. If he encountered a king, they would have slaughtered him a hundred times in that span of time. No matter how strong it was, there was no point to it. No good. I have to think of some way to shorten the cast time. I'll have to properly study it. Starfall was absolutely terrifying and easily became his strongest move. It was even more terrifying than the third form of Split the Heavens. This was a trump card for protecting his life. Hence, he had to perfect it. Long Chen took a long while to recover from this test. This move not only exhausted his spiritual Yuan and soul energy, but it also exhausted Huo Long's energy. While resting, he consumed a large number of heavenly star sea merging pills. He needed to raise his cultivation base as high as possible during this time. Just as he was training in Starfall, the Zhuanshan Dao sect was shaken. The Dragon Blood Legion's members had advanced to become rank 4 celestials. That news spread to every corner of the Zhuanshan Dao sect when Luo Fan heard this. A gloomy expression appeared on his face. As expected, this brute really has some huge secrets. The news that over 10,000 disciples had advanced to become rank 4 celestials was too shocking. People even went to report it to the Zuan Master. The Zuan Master only gave out a simple response. This was a kind of experiment done by the Zuanshan Dao sect. All elders and disciples were to keep it secret and not transmit it outside. And they shouldn't disturb the Dragon Blood Legion either. It was true that there were various treasures that could be used to raise a celestial's rank. In fact, there were several kinds of medicinal pills for it. But they were too precious. So precious that even the Zuanshan Dao sect couldn't afford them. For the Zuan Master's reply to be that it was an experiment shocked everyone. Could it be the Zuanshan Dao sect was secretly researching precious medicines that could raise a celestial's rank? Although people had all kinds of guesses. Due to the Zuan Master's orders, they could only stifle these questions inside. Time passed quickly, and over a month went by in the blink of an eye. On this day, Long Chen walked out of the training room with a smile on his face.